It's time, bro. It's time. You, you know what time it is. Now we got she iTunes when I listen versus Joe Biden reading Gen Z news. Joe Biden Gen Z news is a good one. It is. I mind the most lackadaisical show on the internet. My name is Rise Dutton, my organized co-host Graydon. <laughs> Everything. Yep. Good. Mm. Today we're once again deciding the best bit from our own show. This is. Let's go. Mind bits bracket three. I've been avoiding that video in my uh, in my recommended. That's been uh, bits that should be in bits bracket three. It's been in my recommended for months, and I've avoided it as long as possible because I knew this video would happen. But now I'm excited to watch it. I'm not gonna lie. 64 of our own bits. Only one can win. It's a clip show. Before we get you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a brand new drop over on Cope's website. Ah. Also linked to description is our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support Shout us. to the members. The join button here on YouTube and become a member. Willem Defoe's a member. We also have mm. short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels and our new channel HiveMind Limited. So that is their channel. I saw it and I wasn't sure. I ain't gonna lie. But okay. Subscribe to Hive mine limited on youtube it's a clip show <laughs> <laughs> big announcement to make tour. we're going on tour yes, yes sir US tour we will be in philadelphia Fah. orlando brooklyn who's going to the orlando Seattle, show Seattle, and los angeles tickets are available right now linked in description come see us live i'm hyped please before we get into these bits we want if dignan doesn't pull up and rap I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm saying that now. I thank our mod Kate for putting this bits bracket together, WK. along with other members of the Hive Mind Mead Page Cinematic Universe who picked mm. their favorite Hive Mind bits to be included Real. on this 64. Comment your favorite bit down below before we even get started. Right now, I'm not gonna lie. I've been obsessed with Draining Camp. I've watched it like 30,000 times in the last two weeks. It's even in my camera roll now, which like, I don't know why, but it is like, I just, oh man, that's top tier for me. Thank you for your efforts. As of right now. Bracket. As always, for the first round, we're going to play. Let's get it. Out, and after that, we just play it out. Got it. Let's go. I hope I win. All right. It's not me versus. <laughs> Absolutely is. <bad>. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Starting with Himmeldish Gambino versus Packaging Genres. Okay. Him Duncan. <laughs> him Duncan. Himmy Neutron. Him from The Office. Mm. It's all over the place, man. I mean, this Him is Biden. Doesn't, doesn't work. It <laughs> doesn't rhyme. Himothy Trump. <laughs> I don't Yo. Really get how they like are setting them up. It's like supposed to be like it's a, it's for Tim or Jim. Him Grover Ro Washington <laughs> Jr. <laughs> it's just adding it to the beginning of a whole other person's name. Like here's an example, okay? Himter Griffin from Family Guy. Yo. <laughs> like it help you out a little bit. Okay. For instance, you could do Himmy Fallon. Like that's like one because it's Jimmy Fallon to Himmy Fallon or like him Kardashian, like Kim Kardashian. They, they rhyme. Mm. The first names rhyme. Okay. So that's how you would do one. So like, um, him plant. <laughs> Robert plant. Yeah. Like Robert. <laughs> this is the best frontman of all time. Yo. Yeah. He Just, was him low key, dude. Him Kardashian does have him plants, but that doesn't really. Mm. Timothy Chalamet. There's one that people do. Cause it's like Timothy yeah. Chalamet to Himothy <laughs> Chalamet. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Try one more. Okay. Yeah. Do you get it yet? Um, oh, Himmeldlish Gambino. <laughs> <laughs> Himmeldlish, like <laughs> yo, it's like childish, but it's Himmeldlish. <laughs> Can we move on? It's ten to five, right? Oh my gosh! I still don't. Get low key, it. low key. I need like a, a spoof Hive Mind channel to do guess the bit from the DJ Grant laugh. That would be crazy. That would be insane. Have to, nope. Like him Parsons from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> yeah, but you understand. It's like Jim, him, him Jong Un. Him too. Supreme leader. Can we move on? It's ten yeah. to five, right? <laughs> popification of drill really is something. I'm here for it. You're here for it? Yeah. You like it? Absolutely. They should popify everything. Really? Market it. Sell it. Yo. Package it up. Give it to the masses. Shoegaze. Shoegaze. Package it up. Little box. Mail it. Next day ship it. Yours <laughs> forever. Subgenre. Now it's popular. Huge. Everyone's got it. Black metal. Boom. Little box. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. 
mail. <laughs> it's clearly there. Bypass the U.S. Postal Service. Mm. Get your own delivery drivers. Massive employment. No union. Mm. A lot. See, I was following the analogy for a second, yeah. but it seems like you think these genres are physical items. <laughs> <laughs> You're real. Oh no. Okay. It's music. It's a genre. I get it. Okay. Give me another example. Bossa Nova. Raw. Right out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dice this one got peanuts. it. This one got Tiny it. Tiny boxes, like a ring box. <laughs> Boom. Tiny peanuts. Bigger box. Shipping tape. <laughs> Postage stamp. Truck. Trains. <laughs> Boats. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Packages just flying on porches. <laughs> <laughs> you go out in the morning, get it. Oh, hey neighbor, what'd you get? Bossa, yeah, me too. All over, global. Yeah. For real. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this country more money. I got you. <laughs> that, one, that one got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, you look younger and yeah. wiser. I knew, I knew something I don't know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smart. Like I know Himmeldish Gambino is the more like popular with our fans, yeah. but. Oh, I think packaging is way funnier. It oh, is. Oh, it's close. It's Way funnier. Little box, ring box. <laughs> it's funny too. I'm gonna go with this Gambino just because I think it like coined a frick. Like, like you couldn't have thought of a better one to say yeah. than Himmel Dish Gambino just because of the way that word sounds. Yeah. It's a close one. And this is a one versus a 16. Yeah, I'm going packaging. Yeah, packaging. So, Grant. You're our tiebreaker. Show me Himmeldish. Ah, okay. okay. I also do love that you say Himmeldish and then Himmeldlish. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she, she iTunes when I listen versus Joe Biden reading Gen Z news. Let's go. She come over to MySpace and we have Napster. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I swear I, I'm, I'm tweeting this now. I, last night, I just randomly came up with one of these because I knew I was going to record this today. And I saved it to my drafts because I wasn't ready for it. But now I'm letting it off. Let me know in the comments if this is a banger tweet or not. And if it is, go to my Twitter and like it. Uh, she Riley on my dignin till I G Graydon in parentheses Willikers. Ah, ah, I'm tweeting it. I don't care. On her G I don't Spotify. care. That's terrible. <laughs> she iTunes. Low key, I just want to end up on the worst tweets bracket, to be honest. I, I could use that clout. Then I could. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why are you saying what to me? <laughs> I, I didn't say You said it, not me. What the hell's going on, man? She bear share on my ball sack. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. What are you even. Why are you confused the moment you say it? <laughs> like I said it. Like she it. pirate bay when I choke her. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what? She bare share on my, my ball sack. sack. <laughs> school behavior there when you say something weird and then question the person yep. you said it to. <laughs> yeah, really Lunch that. table thing. Yeah. For so, real. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, he can text everyone. Why won't he text me back? I don't. I don't know. He can text everyone whenever he wants, and I can't get a fucking message back. It just seems crazy, doesn't it? No, it's like a dumb thought. Really? He has a machine that he can text everyone. <laughs> he can't text me. What's up, dude? Because he just texts, What's up, like, dude? We're in trouble if people don't get out to vote for the midterms or whatever, you know? Yeah. That's the stuff he texts. And he's not good at texting. He's old as hell. Who's baby Gronk? <laughs> Who's baby Gronk? Livy Dunn, raised up by Astro Speed. <laughs> Finally met Ronaldo. That's huge moment in Twitch. Bro, well, I'm still not over I Show Speed meeting JPEG Mafia and then having dinner. Like, what? Did the suey with, with Ronaldo. Honestly, one of the best character arcs ever. XQC shouldn't have to apologize. He's got more money than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Beast could have been on that submarine. <laughs> yeah, he was actually invited. <laughs> If Mr. Beast was invited on the submarine, why is the text blue? It's <laughs> the outgoing text, not the incoming. And now Curtis Connor says he was invited on the actual Titanic. <laughs> That's just me. He seems like a charming guy. I'm happy for him and his wife. <laughs> Still on impulsive? <laughs> Text into Google. <laughs> I Spice carried the Barbie soundtrack. <laughs> Rally from Hodman predicted the Ice Spice remix, Ice Spice Baby, with the <laughs> Shouldn't he get royalties for that? Yo. I think he should get at least a songwriting credit on Spotify. Uh, <laughs> Low key. That's what we would do in real life. Yeah. For just, real. Wouldn't, wouldn't know. Honestly, this one's, this one's actually hard. This one's actually hard because she iTunes when I listen is like classic 
just you know Graydon just giving everything he needs to give in the goofiest way possible but the synergy in the Joe Biden Gen Z news were like come on bro I, I got a Joe Byron. Give me Joe Byron. It's such an easy impression to do, too. Joe yeah, Byron. it is. America's what we're frowning on, gosh darn it. No, I think Dave McRae might be an industry player. <laughs> in the gay clubs. <laughs> you hear Sydney Sweeney actually got bit by that spider. She's <laughs> acting. She really got bit. Joe Flacco is like a 22 year old. <laughs> <laughs> he still got gas in the tank. That Brown's my nigga run. <laughs> yeah, real Gen Z news there. <laughs> Flacco fever in Cleveland. 38 year old. Joe Flacco, massively popular with Gen Z. I feel pretty heavy Joe Biden here, I think. So do yeah. I. I. The other one definitely, like, coined some phrases. Sure. Some stuff yeah. that get still commented, some mm -hmm. stuff that's popular in our subreddit. But, For like, real. Joe Biden reading Gen Z news, I mean. That's a bit. That's funny anyway. Yeah, that's you an actual put bit. Put that on TV, people yeah. would love it. You know? DN real. wants it. E News they do. Soup. <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> For it, honestly. Yeah. Joel McHale, or whatever his name is, getting old, and they need a replacement. <laughs> Super. Yo, we can do it. I be chicken, you be noodle. All right, <laughs> you're the man, I'm the noodle. No, I'm chicken and you're noodle. Okay, I'm scared of, of stuff and I'm wet. Al dente. I like being slurped. Yeah, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> versus buckleberries. Would you guys watch someone fight a bear if it was a really bad person? Oh, especially if it was a bad person. <laughs> okay. Would you watch someone fight a bear? Yes. Are you talking about in real life or on TV? In real life. In real life, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. By fight, I mean, obviously, like... I don't think it matters if it's a good or bad person. I want them to be strong and vigilant. Mm. Because I feel like then... That's real. Some, you know, <laughs> that's like real. Metal pipe maybe this big. Mm. <laughs> no, that kills it for me. Mm. No, I no one's going to gonna win barehanded. <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, I mean, pause. Okay, for a second. What's gay about fighting a bear? <laughs> <laughs> Hands. Oh, yeah, pause, pause, got it, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, chill. Bear pause. Sus. I mean, that's yo. so sus to fight a bear. But I, it's just more about the metal pipe part, like, takes it out of reality for me, because mm. I want to picture that this is, like, ancient times. Oh, I yeah. want it to be, like, Real. a caveman. What if, what if you gave him symbols? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you won me back with slapstick comedy. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, all right, this is, like, an action movie or some shit. Give him a cake some symbols. <laughs> <laughs> he gets on top of it. <laughs> yeah, he tweaks its nose. <laughs> the bear's embarrassed. That's really yo, cool. just You're blushing. Embarrassed him, you know. I piped a bear one time. Chill, France. Hey yo, European <laughs> <laughs> vacation. <laughs> poppers. What is poppers? You know what? You don't know what poppers are. Yo, poppers are. It's a head rush. <laughs> a lot of gay people use it because it loosens your asshole. <laughs> it's a gay sex drug. <laughs> but other people can do it too. You can do, you can it, do too. it. Whatever. It's kind of like a whip it thing. It's yeah. like a little huff. You go, and you go, oh, and you get a big head rush, and then your Yo. bowels kind of fall out. <laughs> Good. You're good on it? Because we got a lot of them. <laughs> Brad stuff. Yeah, Brad knows shockingly little about very common things. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He learns new <laughs> things every day. Yeah. For real. As he, he should. He's like a little too old to be learning what yeah. poppers are. <laughs> a cool baby. Yeah, really. Real. Cool baby. Yeah. But Boss baby. I'm sure we also taught him what pause meant. Like off camera, yeah. I think he asked me, he's like, I don't get that. He's like, what do you mean pause? <laughs> really? Uh, that one's like a classic banter moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's just kind of like us telling a story and just rolling around. I can't believe I didn't say twink fight at any point. Yeah. You Real. Know, I don't think hell's below us. I think it's right next to heaven up there. Oh, they're both up? I think they're neighbors. It's like one of those condominium resorts. Oh, interesting. <laughs> one's just heaven, one's hell. So heaven and hell are both up there. Then what's below? Oh, uh, it's a Buckleberries. <laughs> You never been to a Buckleberries? No, I've been to a Buckle, the store in the mall. No, it's like a turnpike restaurant chain. It's really mm. fun for families. They electrocute you if you don't choose your food fast enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> buckleberries? <laughs> You've never heard of this? I've never heard of They electrocute you <laughs> if you don't choose your food fast enough? It's fun. You take off your shoes like a sushi restaurant. Okay. And you come <laughs> in and they're slightly submerged in water. And sometimes a little fish will sneak up on you. What? But the water acts as a conductor for Dr. Buzz, who's up <laughs> 
Dr. Baz. And if you don't decide fast enough, he cranks down the lever and a lightning bolt shoots through the restaurant and, and scatters all across and it hits the water and electrocutes everyone who hasn't ordered their food yet. So you can yeah. take your shoes out of the water once you've ordered? No, they pull the drain when you order. Oh, there's no so there's water. no water. Yeah. That's Real. super creative. You keep your shoes off and it's a bit of a photo booth too. What do you mean mm. it's a bit of a photo booth? <laughs> and when they bring you your check at the end, in sands of a tip, you can choose that the photographer comes out. He's a little guy. He takes a little photo of your feet and he sends it up to Dr. Buzz, who is very pleased with it. <laughs> in sands of a tip? Yep. Okay. I think it's in lieu of a tip, but. Sands a tip, you can give okay, him a sure. foot. <laughs> That's, yeah, I'm getting it. A little photographer. <laughs> Yo. Dr. So, Buzz likes feet at Buckleberry. So you don't have to tip if they take a picture of your feet and Dr. Buzz likes it, uh -huh. but does Dr. Buzz then redistribute these and sell the feet pick? No? No, Dr. Buzz doesn't have a social life. He's trapped in the rafters of buckleberries all over yeah. the country. Used to be 44,000 of them. 44,000 buckleberries? Yeah. That's so many, I've never heard of it. Yeah, crazy. there's only three left now. <laughs> uh, not a very successful business. They're all in Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> That's a real place. Okay. And so is Buckleberries. <laughs> Check that place out, I guess. I, uh, I don't know. If, if you didn't go when you were a child. Well, wait a minute. There's four then. Because one of them is like where you think hell would be. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. There's well, three in Manhattan, right. Kansas, and one down below in the great. In the fair. Beneath. Wow. I want to make Buckleberries merch. <laughs> yeah. Is it not a real place? Oh, yeah. But I mean, I want personalized merch. No, I'm serious. Fair. It's not. It's not? No. Is there like a Brickleberries or something? Maybe. That's a TV show. I saw a comedian on a podcast recently talk Yeah, Brickleberries about a show. Like the exact name, a close to it. The <laughs> Dr. Buzz? No, it wasn't oh, like any of the Dr. Okay. Buzz stuff. Oh, okay. They didn't get into the details though, sure. so maybe. But yeah. I'm just saying, as your like co-host and yeah. friend for years, mm -hmm. I can see your gears turning. <laughs> <laughs> like stumbling to find things yeah. in it, but it's for just real. so <laughs> visual. Like I'm just picturing <laughs> everything so clearly. <laughs> Wearing a lab coat for yes. you. Yeah. <laughs> Gray spiky yeah. hair. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, he's kind of like little. He, and he's, he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, the feet. <laughs> Yes. I gotta go bear fight here. Responses are what they would be. Where I'm like, I'm like hung up on your syntax. Where I'm yeah. like, you don't understand what sans means. And I'm like, all right, I'm lost in the weeds. Let's get back to more details about Dr. Buzz. That's, that's a classic. I easily Real. Uncle Me too. Here. Yeah. Now we got newborn Johnson. <laughs> that one's good. Sweetie, I'd like you to meet my grandpa, newborn. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> my name's newborn. Newborn Johnson. <laughs> Newborn Johnson is a good name. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> yeah, that's you like shouldn't like, write that down. You should have pictures of it in your phone. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I didn't even think trouble. about it like that. I thought about it as like, <laughs> like you have a baby and you're like, what do you call that thing? Newborn Johnson? <laughs> you have a laptop full of Newborn Johnson. You are going to jail. <laughs> Speaking of Melody Martinez, <laughs> yo, oh that's a good one. Dick joke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's funny. I love how much you can see it hit me. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm like responding, and then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like die. Literally. <laughs> You would die in prison too, pal. I know. Yeah. Have you ever had sessions with SpongeBob late at night? He was in a fraternity with SpongeBob. Do you yeah. know that? Square pants. I was in a fraternity with, you know, oh, Blue's I can Clues. Tell. Yeah. Blue's Clues was my boy. We went through elementary school <laughs> together. Mm. Is, that his, is this name of the show's name? Like, his name is Blue's Clues? I'm pretty Blue's sure his name is just Blue. Blue's Clues is his full name. <laughs> we were in like, intermediate soccer together. My dad used to chill with his dad. Nice. And then I used to go over to his house. Super weird place. Really <laughs> weird. But, anyways, you know, he was a cool guy. So, at some point in high school, you know, me and Blue's Clues were like, hey, like, where are we going to college? And he's like, let's go to McGill. It's in Montreal. Here. Great. Mm. Like that, yeah. We're like, fuck it. Let's rip it, you know? And they have like, <laughs> secret like, scholarly games type like fraternity oh, yeah. where it's almost like a cult. And it's secret really society stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Motorcycle gang vibes. And, and Blue's Clues was going to be able to hook me up with an invite because his father was originally in this fucking fraternity. We're like, Yo. okay, let's rip it. Let's do it. So we're in this fraternity. <laughs> well. But then one night, it's like this dark, stormy night. I'm in my dorm room and there's a letter that slides underneath my door. I open 
open it up, says McDonald's parking lot with the address 430 in the morning, be there. Okay. I'm like, fuck, this is my chance. I'm going to be a part of the club. I'm down. I got my invitation. So I call Blue's Clues. I ask him, I'm like, so did you get your letter? He said, yeah, let's do it. And at this point, I started to see that Blue's Clues was getting a bit sketchy. You know, Yo. packs of cocaine underneath the beds, uh -huh. constant phone calls, two phones on him at all times. He was really <laughs> trying to portray a certain lifestyle, but Blue's Clues came from a middle class home. Yeah. And I was like, listen, bro, you're going to get hurt. You know, you can't do this. Like, there's only a certain path in life and you can go with it. Long story short, Blue's Clues got killed then. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Why are you> laughing. <laughs> Is it? No. Yeah. Uh, how'd he die? Let's let's keep going. What? <laughs> I don't know. I've watched so much NFR podcast in my life, and I was legitimately shocked when we filmed that video. That was yeah. long after meeting him. Not that long at all. For real. I went into that rant, and I was like, huh? His <laughs> timing is actually, like, really good. Yeah. Like, For real. he really has it. Yeah. But it's just so funny when he mixes in all these things. He always said, like, let's rip it. He oh, always yeah. says, like, let's rip it. Oh, it's a bizarre tale. A bizarre our story yeah just uh, the ends don't fully meet in no, that story they don't you can tell like the vibe he's painting <laughs> yeah. like, i know what yep. movies he's thinking of <laughs> i have a guest bit in here too the more For sure. i know him too that is like funnier because i know his like cadence and storytelling all that being said i'm going with the baby penis <laughs> newborn Johnson. Lose clues here. The newborn Johnson joke. We'll go is newborn. Just one little moment. Says, like, this is like a whole new side to a person that I didn't think could be that funny. Yeah. For real. So I have to go Blues Clues. Grant, break that's a fair point. I will take Blues Clues. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Fair. I'm gonna vote for myself. <laughs> that's one thing about me. Now we got British Mr. Beast versus We Love You over here. I love these two. Can't and think of these. I'm Mr. Beast, and today uh, I'm gonna be pissing on someone's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a wig. What's it look like I'm doing? I had seven points. All right, I'm almost done. Here you go. Yo. Crude British Mr. Beast. Ah, oh, whatever, it's Mr. Beast. Today, I'm giving away seven million quid. Whoever can eat the most beans out of this kettle. There's British <laughs> Mr. Beast here. Yeah? Last person to take their hand off this blood sausage wins 5,000 pounds. A little bit less than my other videos, but I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Put cocktail weenies on bottle rockets and shooting them at old people. What's this whistling willy go? British <laughs> Mr. Beast here, yeah? and yes, I am still out of ideas. Today, we're going to play poker with the sidemen. <laughs> in London to a little American fair. Today, I'll be doing a drive-by by shooting on a double decker bus. <laughs> Nah, because why did Riley almost have the same exact laugh? Introducing London to a little American fair. Today I'll be doing a drive by shooting on a double decker bus. <laughs> <laughs> No, the timing is crazy. That was such an XQC moment, bro. Come on, Mr. Beast. Real. Another episode. Today, we're going to see which member of Coldplay can do the most ketamine. <laughs> He's Australian now. The Queen's <laughs> More money than God. <laughs> Well, yeah. hello again, it's British Mr. Beast. Today we're dressing James Corden up like Adele and Adele up like James Corden. <laughs> Who's gonna be able to tell the difference? We'll see. Nah. <laughs> he also has a speech impediment. <laughs> That's a good one. That's just like the Joe Biden thing. We could do yeah. that for hours. Oh, definitely. Yeah. We were just like, all right, wait, let's get into some more British stuff. We'd like come up with shit. There's so many moments that I'm like, oh, that's the moment. Yeah. Like the double Real. deck of bus. Oh, oh man. So funny. It and is. I have more money than God. <laughs> <laughs> it's cording up like a doe. It's cording. And then it just got a classic flip, fall, you like fall yeah. out of the same accent and the bit ends, yeah. you know? That is a good one. You alright? Yeah. Yawning is a sign that your body's not getting enough no oxygen. It's also a sign that I'm tired of your bullshit. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you keep me honest, you know? I like working with you, man. I'll tell you what. Okay. Always I mean, on my toes with this one. Yeah. If I ever you start know, to like, never know this one's a good one. Unpredictable. This guy over here, but God, I love it. You know. It's you a, know, if I bother it's a hoot, you, it's a holler. It's a you racket. Know, <laughs> if, I, if I start to bother you or something, you can just talk. Oh to me. yeah. No. Yeah. You do. Bother. <laughs> I don't want to be a burden. That's why I love you. You know. What? This is so confusing. I don't want to be a yeah. burden in the workplace. Terrible worker. Super annoying. But, you know, that's why we love you over here, right? I just wanted to be a good part of the team. We pay you way too much. <laughs> you should dock that pay, but we won't. You know. Got to make sure you're all right. You know, we care about you over here, but God, <laughs> God, you're terrible at working and hard to be around. Nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, man, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, working with this guy, you know, I'd rather, rather, rather end my life. You know, end my shit. I'd rather end it right here. Man, but I don't want God, you to think even about being around it for ten minutes. I'd rather crash my car into a wall. I'd rather burn alive than <laughs> have lunch once. But God, I don't want to be. Wouldn't annoyed. be the same without you over here. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that part makes it for me. Then, then didn't yeah, have lunch once. But God, I don't want to be. Wouldn't annoyed. be the same without you over here. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> it would be better if you were not here. It would be better. Like you, you mean here. here, or you mean just in general, man? Just <laughs> plain. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, but no, seriously, if you were not alive, the world would be a better place. <laughs> I love your blue collar. Anytime you're talking like that, it's funny, but then yeah. at the end, you almost just fall out of that, and you're like, no, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's very out of character for me to say, like, end my shit. Yeah. yeah. In this character, you would never say that, <laughs> but I just slip into it. Yeah. And the fact that your hair is just changing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's like, at first, it's like down like this and then all of a sudden it's like this weird <laughs> cartoon mohawk thing For real. in front of your face like the way I was talking to you was like destroying your appearance yeah. <laughs> it's not a British Mr. Beast though it's a close one we love you over here got it we love you over here makes me laugh like all along the way I just like yeah. the premise of British Mr. Beast, so. Yeah, Fair. I'm gonna go We Love You over here, just because <laughs> yeah. I feel like it really flips our roles. Yeah. And so I like when that happens, when you're like the the timid, more st like yeah. straight man, and I'm doing like this deep character, but being very <laughs> insulting to you. <laughs> there are like moments of laughter, but I'm going We Love You over here. Great, break the tie. I'm taking British Mr. Beast. Okay. That's fair. I think it's okay. more of a fan favorite yeah. anyway. So. Real. This isn't about the fans, though, Riley. It's about which one of us is funnier. I, it's not about <laughs> who it is. Because yeah, you are funnier. At the end, we will know. You, we don't know now. We always know. You we, are You are funnier. We don't know yet. <laughs> the first two bits brackets? What? Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't watched the first two. Watched real. Uh, but the Kool-Aid Man and Dan Marino. Dan Marino yep. wasn't a bit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is debating who's funnier. You we'll are find funnier. out today. You, you are funnier. Oh, I know you like to think you're funnier, but we're going to find Didn't out today. <laughs> <laughs> big fucking idea, don't you? <laughs> you got No, I don't. You got There's big no... fucking shoes on, don't you, pal? They're, I don't know, ten and a half? So you got good looking pants on. <laughs> I do, yeah, these ones. Yeah, good and fit. I bet you came yeah. in with a big fucking idea today. <laughs> I mean, you were going to shake things up a little bit, didn't you? I didn't didn't try to shake anything up. <laughs> you're clocking in. We'll see about that. Nah, we love you over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little type on this one. Look at this. Brad's grandpa slayed his way oh my God. versus Quadeca's artwork. Yeah. And that's just how it was. They didn't cry about it, you know? My grandfather survived the Holocaust. Your grandfather is in the Holocaust? Yeah, he had to dress up like a girl and uh, blend in basically throughout the entirety of it, yeah. Your grandfather slayed his <laughs> wife in the Holocaust? He <laughs> slayed and served? Yeah. <laughs> this is a movie. <laughs> Nah, 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 hold on. The snaps got it. His way through the Holocaust. He <laughs> slayed and slayed. <laughs> this is a movie in oh the ratings. God. Boots, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Grandpa gets his cunt in order to. <laughs> To hit no, dude. Yeah. I Yo. don't think that's how that went. He demon dropped his way. Oh man, wig was wigging. <laughs> <laughs> Back rolls. You know what I'm saying? He was like eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That kills the fun real quick, though. No, eight. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next nah. question. The darkest of it all. is. I was gonna say, like that's like on the same level as the 9-11 challenge. Like, oh my goodness. My skin crawl. Yeah, I like did. watching this yeah. I'm like, oh no, 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 I know what happened. Like, no, no. Yikes. I'm not proud of it, but 
it's all, Brad just served it to us on a <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we could really do. Yeah. I like making Brad uncomfortable. Right. <laughs> Real. As he's like crumbling up during that, I'm like, ooh, ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it has like such a great bit structure. Yeah. Yeah. Huge silence and then the punchline. Yeah. I'm proud of it. Oh, yeah. I also am like, yeah. I understand people who are, do not like that. Yeah. Thing. Some people who are it very makes sense. comfortable with us using that terminology and that yeah. language. Yep. For for a joke like that, yeah, and I totally understand that. But everything we do is just in the name of get that laugh and the <laughs> absolutely room. make Brad crumble in between us. And, that's <laughs> really what it is. and it's Real. funny to imagine like a drag queen and like working their way out of the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> that that's fun. Yeah, I mean, like imagining Hitler's demise at the hands of like a lip syncing queen. <laughs> that's, like, that's fucking real. Yeah, so you, you have to tell me, real. think about that and say, no, 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 you're you're lying to yourself. Yeah, you have to kind of concede. Yeah, at a certain point. Um, I do just have a little anecdote to say. You may be wondering why did he bring the backpack all the way out there? Well, the reason for that is is uh, this was actually you know in the laptop part of my backpack, and when you mm. go through TSA, you have to take your laptop out. And uh, it was sort of like congealed to my to my laptop in the pocket. And there were a few very tr attractive women behind me, just to be yeah. in detail. I pulled my laptop <laughs> out and flying through the air, this paper yeah. with a drawing of Brian from Family Guy holding a hundred million dollar bill falls flat on the ground. They all look. Everybody looks. What is that? It's like it's like far. It's like five feet away. Oh now. man. And everybody looks and they see this this drawing. <laughs> family guy. And they all just look and uh they started laughing. Did anybody wow. pick it up for you? No, I had to like do the walk of shame and be oh, like, man. Uh, uh, it was probably the, the worst moment of my life. My artwork, my artwork! <laughs> <laughs> It's like he's so good at telling stories, but yeah. I didn't know where it was going the whole at time. all. That shit is so funny. <laughs> I think it's laptop. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time he's yeah. just Tupperware. Yeah, it's laptop. Yeah, but he's in the lab cooking up. Mm. I know it's just very funny how it's very pronounced. He goes <laughs> in the laptop compartment. <laughs> yeah, and that's all I could focus on that time. And also, it's funny that like he's gotten so much more comfortable with us. Yeah, like, that wasn't super early. On. But you can tell by the way he's telling the story that it's not how he would tell it now. Yeah. Like it'd be way more comfortable. He had like yeah. a plan to tell that story that way. <laughs> I love the story visually. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. that a cartoon of Brian Griffin drawn like that. <laughs> like that could never, like just that, that happened. It's he, awesome. Like a 21 year old in the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flying through the air goes a like poorly drawn Brian <laughs> Griffin holding money. And he's like, oh, need that. Yeah. Need to go pick that up. I got to lean on that one. That one's the funniest. I, one I gotta go. I gotta go the slaying here. Favorite Come on. It's ever been told. Oh, it's Brad's grandpa. It, easily. A million times over. Easily. It's just like one pushes the boundaries. Yeah, and do it. it does. It, it's jokes like these that really stick with you, bro. I'm like this one. This is it, I can't say it's peak. But if it won, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Turkey place, a uh, place that really only our show can do and yeah. yep. exit unscathed. Yep. And uh, yeah, I have to go with that. I'm going quads artwork. Grant, break the tie. Brad's grandpa. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, if Quad could tell that story now, he'd call them bitches. I don't, I don't think he would. He's so comfortable around us. He'd be like, yeah, these bitches behind me. Like, oh, no. <laughs> he does not talk like that. <laughs> not at all, really. So y'all want to rent my car? He, what? That is not yeah, his voice. his voice is crazy. He's like, uh, kind of like Yosemite Sam meets a rat or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe I'm mixing him up with someone. Yeah, it's got to be somebody else. <laughs> yeah, right? He doesn't real. say anything like that. Yeah. Now we got smuggling Egyptian salamanders versus Dignan, are you okay? Dignan, are you okay? <laughs> They're gonna cancel me. It's because of something I said. Mm. Something I did. What? Just remember <laughs> that. <laughs> if they cancel me, it's because of something I said. Bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have said. Yeah. Not something I did. I don't know. Because they can't catch me. That's the whole <laughs> point. It's not what I do. Now, name something that you did that you could get canceled for if they found out about it, which they never will. Smuggling Egyptian salamanders out of El Salvador. <laughs> 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 
so many. You wouldn't even believe it. Yo. <laughs> it's unbelievably illegal. You <laughs> win. Yo. World Peace Court. Put you on trial and you know who one of the judges is? Kim Jong Un. <laughs> it's like the Simon Cowell of the UN. That's what yeah. we call him. They put you on a little rock with a big balloon and they float you out into the Arctic Ocean. Yo. <laughs> That's worse than being canceled, some people would say. You go out a legend, though. That's what matters. And the fucking slick ass man. <laughs> <laughs> No, let's go, bro. Two okay. months. Whoa, hey, two months <laughs> hatch. What the fuck? Two months till hatch. That's 16. That's eight times more than the work in the wild when I left El Salvador. In a way, I'm kind of saving the planet. But I'm not going to keep them alive for long. <laughs> <laughs> when they're babies, if you ring them out, <laughs> plutonium. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with that? What? Smoke it. <laughs> then what happens? I don't know. No one's ever done it before. <laughs> Yo. Curiosity. Killed the cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun hanging out with you guys. <laughs> it is fun. Wow. I love that Brad is just wearing a flame button up. <laughs> yeah. Literally. You know, earlier I said I saw your gears turning. Mm -hmm. With Dignan, it's like I, the gears have already turned. Yep. You know what I mean? Like he's so quick, he knows exactly what he's going to say. Mm -hmm. I feel it because it happened. Right, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, when you're telling <laughs> My gears are turning, I'm making things up. He's telling Real. a true story. Yeah. Fair. Unfortunately, he did get canceled recently for what mm. he said. Really? What do you... <laughs> well, I can't say it. I'll get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to fucking trick me. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> yes, <you> Yo. <laughs> All right, I'll say it. No, I won't. <laughs> Can you like hint at it? Like, is it oh god, no! <laughs> what? what the fuck trying to implicate me? I'm not trying Yo. to implicate you. I don't want in on this. How did I not hear about this? I feel like I would like I work with the guy. I mean, yeah, I mean he's done. He's done so. They were <laughs> done. Wrap it up. <laughs> Yo, it's over. Really? Yeah. There was a protest outside of his house yesterday. <laughs> he's a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a house. Yeah, they don't want him to say it again. <laughs> what a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you left there with signs that say shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> if he says it again, it'll be so crazy. It'll be crazy if he says it twice. Once Yo. You have to get canceled. If he says it again, people are gonna flip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop picturing a protest of <laughs> Bro, I'm going to get lightheaded from laughing this much, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch kind of some of his old clips, but he's done. We can't have him back up. Really? Oh, Yo. It up, pal, yeah. I got to know what he said to know if it's... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Just, Is it on I'm video? Say it. I'm saying if they're just telling him to shut up, I feel like I got to see what he said, and then maybe yeah. we'll have him back on the show. We'll see. Jury's out. Mm. Jury's still out. All right. Jury's still out on Christmas break getting fucked up. What? <laughs> Families. Jury's still out on the town seeing old flames. Let's see, Dignan. Are you okay? You know it? <laughs> I'm asking you, do you know it? You're oh my you just weren't even looking anywhere near me. I know, because <laughs> I'm trying not to look at your answer. Oh, I'm not gonna show you. I know, but you were writing like you were bleeding a little bit. Here, look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm looking directly at you. What are you doing? I knew I took a little too That's much a good one. this morning, but <laughs> This is a heavy dose. If I go across the room, I feel like I'm sitting right next to you. Diggy, you're all right. You're not responding. What? I'm not. Riley, it looks like you're trying to say something. Dignan, are you okay? Your ears are so shiny. They look like little wax buttons. Dude, why are you sweating so much? What the? Dude, please just answer me. <laughs> say, this is cool with me. Check this out. <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to do this and no one can see me. Dignan! Dude, we gotta do a video! Alright! <laughs> this life a little more than the last one. Uh, uh, oh, what's up, buddy? Not much. How are you? Are you good? Just you chilling. didn't see none of that shit I was doing, right? What are you talking about? Good. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that the moment Dignan is like free from being perceived, yeah. he decides yeah. to just do something really weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, wait a minute. I got a new lease on life. I could just try some shit out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, but don't say whatever you want. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, I still don't know. Salamanders. Can't that one got it for me.
<laughs> uh, I mean, it's Egyptian salamanders, yep. right? Yeah, Easily. absolutely. Yeah. But a nice little, nice little bit that yeah. you threw together there on the second one. Very good. Put together a nice drive. Couldn't score though. Field goal. Mm. Yeah, hey, field goal. Points or points. Jesus, you squirted on me, bro. Hey, yeah. That's the first time. Okay. Hey, that's the first time that's ever happened. <sighs> Whatever. Didn't know I could, honestly. No one's ever done it that fast. <laughs> All right, that's enough. It's fucking dry. <laughs> Cool. Next, we got Michael Jordan drunk driving versus falling over sitting up. I'm the Michael Jordan of drunk driving. He's the Michael Jordan of drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens if Michael Jordan gets pulled over? The cop goes, oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're the GOAT! Oh, no way! Game four, Lakers, 93! And then he doesn't get a ticket. You had the flu! No. How did you play like that? <laughs> Seriously, I gotta call backup. <laughs> Guys, get over here, Yo. Michael. Why was Playboy Cardi doing 133 to 55, bro? Like, why? I... Jordan, I pulled over Michael Jordan. Oh, oh, he's wasted. He's, yeah, oh, he's a danger to society, but man, could he play. The only people writing MJ tickets are like old Lakers fans. Michael Jordan hasn't shown up to any court since 2003. Great. Yo. And yes, it did start with a reference to the band AJJ. Some people were were asking if that's what I was referencing. Mm. Gold Jordan of Drunk Driving played his final game tonight. That song's really yeah. good. Folk punk band AJJ. Andrew nice. Jackson Jihad. And it was Andrew Jackson Jihad, but Got they it. changed the name because it was problematic. Because Andrew Jackson Fair. committed genocide. And I think the word Jihad as well. Yeah. I think that's the mm. combination of all of those. Yeah, so yeah. real. Kind of like, ah, maybe that's not our band name. Yeah. Maybe we just go AJJ on him and uh, AJR. They were Andrew Jackson rehab. So. Yeah. Oh he man. Use that. He was a drunk and a gambling addict. So those are kind of Crazy. least problematic things about him. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Crazy. How does it feel that I have metal in my arm and I could still beat your ass? You couldn't. <laughs> yes, I could. That's the thing is you. I think have hate. <laughs> well, yeah, you would. Beat yes. my ass. I wouldn't beat your ass because I actually love you. <laughs> <laughs> but if it came down to it, yeah. say it was sanctioned. So I don't <laughs> feel like there's an argument. Sure. It's just we're both trying to win a prize. A bunch of cash. A cash or a belt. Real. Something like that. Then I would best you physically. But, but that's like if there's rules. In a street fight, I'm winning. Again, only because you have motive. <laughs> your eyes out. Yeah, and I don't have motive. <laughs> what was that? I just, you just almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? <laughs> you were about to tell me you could beat my ass, honestly. <laughs> That almost, proves my yeah, point. I almost tumbled there. <laughs> How do you almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? It's a bit of an Ottoman situation. The Ottoman Empire yep. fell once again. <laughs> it's like the funniest random thing. That's it is. Ever. Falling over got it for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because like during that conversation, for <laughs> yeah. that to happen, it's just awesome. <laughs> the way you do it, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh. It's like you're confused. <laughs> It just started to slip out from me. <laughs> and like the rotation of the chair was just perfect. And I was like, Yo. What the happening? It was so Yikes. Slow. Yeah. Not a bit, though. No, not really. Yeah. Nah. A moment. Yeah, I was about to say, that's just a moment. On the ceiling or something. I go Michael Jordan drunk driving here. Me too. Okay. Give me that. Oh. Now we've got Mitch L slash Forfin's Porpoises versus Riley's Real Friends. <laughs> Lean in my cup. She left me for Ted. What did you say? <laughs> nah, two bits from the same moment of the same episode is crazy. Who's Ted? Some guy she worked with said they were just friends. She, mm. Who's she? Who are you talking about? <sighs> Mitchell. Mitchell? Mm -hmm. And that was a, a girl, a woman's name? Are you sure? How is it spelled? Because I hate to do this, but I feel like it might have been Michelle. <laughs> M-I-T-C-H hyphen L. <laughs> Yo. At least she was Scottish. Mitch. Beautiful, Mitch. beautiful oh, woman. Okay. Hell of a rapper, too. <laughs> she worked at a Hertz rent a car. <laughs> and she left me for tech. This is the she... strangest person I've ever heard of. Right? She said, Baby, quit drinking that lean. And then she left me for Ted. Yes, what? what? Poured up a double. 
two caps. And I drank it in beer. Oh, my oh God. wow. I'm in my 40. I just need a check. I want to retire. Right, totally. Right. Yeah. Wife needs a new nose. My kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get... <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> kid's kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get a new nose first and then... Wait, did you say your wife's nose? Yeah. Didn't your wife leave you like two bits ago? I got a new wife. You got a new wife already? Yeah, she's ugly with a bird-ass uh, bird nose. <laughs> so she's gotta get rid of it. Why are you sulking over your ex if you have a new wife? Because Mitch L was hot. My new wife has a bird beak on her face. <laughs> <laughs> I used her to procreate. Wait, Substance. Yo. <laughs> the kids have her bird beak. Kids? <laughs> How do you have a new wife? <laughs> Multiple kids. That's why I got the new wife. I wanted to procreate, Riley. I wanted to spread my seed. Did <laughs> Mitch L leave you? 98 or something? <laughs> the time God. Dan retired. Jesus, Yo. man. My new wife's a bitch. Ted might <laughs> be alive at this point. I don't care. You're I'm over that, that point in my life. You're not. You Two bits ago, you were talking about <laughs> She it. was beautiful, okay? She was the manager at a Hertz rent-a-car. You realize what kind of benefits that comes with? <laughs> Any city I went to, 60% off. Top of the line Yo. sports cars for the weekend. I mean, that sounds awesome, but it does. Seem like something... She couldn't bear my children. She had her own biological issues. It mm. It was a tragedy. She really wanted kids too. I it was a tragedy. Her, her and Ted, last I heard, adopted four orphans. Mm. <laughs> four dolphins without parents. No. Four orphans, porpoises. Porpoises, <laughs> orphans. <laughs> Porpins. Are four <laughs> fins that are porpins. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, back to my original point. If you're traveling abroad this summer, take a carbon monoxide detector. Because a lot of these Airbnbs in other countries, <laughs> Americans are sleepy anyway, so they don't Yo. have symptoms. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> they just got finished eating a bunch of McDonald's. So. Oh, you fat fucks. Go take a <laughs> <laughs> Two Big Macs and shot up a school. Of course. <laughs> That's a long one. Yo. It's the only bit in like Hive Mind history that like there's one moment that destroys the Yo. entire bit. And also, it's just Dignity is just coming with random personalities <laughs> yep. for these people. Like yeah. these are not, he, <laughs> like, she was a hell of a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, she was a manager at a Hertz rent a car. My new wife's a bitch. Stephen's <laughs> <laughs> porpoise is like, we all of a sudden just have a bunch of fun saying <laughs> stupid words. <laughs> Back to my original point. <laughs> You're traveling abroad this time. Bring your carbon monoxide. <laughs> Yo. And the yeah. fact that I end that by saying you just ate two Big Macs <laughs> 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 oh wow! That's crazy. Have some awesome friends. I do. Like, yeah. I have no friends. I know. And your friends are awesome, dude. Full throttle, Philip. He's <laughs> great. Isn't he so cool? I love his videos. There's yeah. no bike he won't jump over a school of children. Top Gun Timothy, have you met him? Mm. Oh really, mm -hmm. dude? He is insane. Are all your friends' names alliterations? <laughs> Name one more friend. I just want to check something. Patrick <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. Have you no. met him? I'm just I'm adding things up. And, what? Mm. It makes sense. Now. What makes sense? He's cool as hell. I, yeah, it seems great. Fucking weirdo. God, I love cheesecake. <laughs> Wait a minute, have you met my friend Cheesecake Chester? <laughs> I can't believe it. You are lying. About what? Your whole group of friends. <laughs> I don't see why you would think that. <laughs> well, they just all, the names are too strange. Too cool? Ah, uh, my friend group is too cool with too cool a name. <laughs> seems like everything we're about to talk about, you have a friend that's named after that. Eh, I don't know Real. about that. <laughs> I mean, let me guess. Your next friend's gonna be like Crazy Quote Quincy. Crazy Quote Quincy. You know him too? <laughs> <laughs> Master goes me 20 bucks. You ever met my pal, Drain Gang Drew Garson? That's not a person. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <that>? <laughs> I am oh, you know that gallery I invited you to? Yeah, the, I'm stoked. The opening is next Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, Is it cool if my friend Jean Jacket Jeremy comes? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Grant, are you buying any of this? Yeah. He knows Jean Jacket Jeremy. I've met all of these people. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? He's friends with um, Denim Dennis Dickerson and like the other guy. <laughs> I'm gonna drink everything under the sink after this. <laughs> you. Yeah. Those guys are cool though, I don't know. You met Jean Jacket Jeremy at my family Christmas party? Yo. Do you believe me now? Skate Trick Stanley? That was just your brother. No, we FaceTimed him <laughs> together. It's a ruse. What do you mean a ruse? This is all a ruse. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> something's not sitting well. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, it's not that nothing's... It's not that something's not sitting well. It's that there's nothing in there. Nothing is... Nothing... Nothing sit. There's an empty chair. <laughs> no For real. Sitting. A chair is still a chair. <laughs> even if no one's sitting there. Mmm. <laughs> a house is not a home. <laughs> There you go. Um, this is pretty easily Mitch L. I yep. agree. It is. Shout out to Jean Jacket Jeremy, though. <laughs> now we've got Rolling Loud North Pole <laughs> versus Jama. I'm seeing Future next month. Are you really? Yeah. Where? Rolling Loud uh, North Pole. Rolling Loud North Pole? <laughs> Trump! <laughs> They're doing a Rolling Loud North Pole. North Pole. Bruh. Yeah, I'm about to get crazy with some elves. <laughs> the elves are gonna be there? If you sleep with them, you become immortal. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. You mean sleep with them like procreate? Oh my gosh. Yo. Okay. And you become immortal, not like your child, your spawn? Troll! I, I'm so confused. <laughs> what? Yep. So wait. Rolling Loud North Pole! So you're going to Rolling Loud North Pole specifically to try to procreate no. with elves to become no. immortal? Or are you no. just giving me a fact? Yeah, I'm just letting you know if I am so lucky to be involved in one of the legendary elf orgies in the North Pole. It's kind of like Burning Man, but with snow. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a freaky dome that you can go into and get freaky. Yo. Freaky dome? Yeah, that's what it's like at Burning Man. There's like a dome. No, I know. The I just, orgy yeah. dome. Everyone knows the notorious orgy dome. But Yo. It's like a, I guess it's kind of an igloo, you could say. <laughs> You're right. going the freaky elf igloo and you get all sorts of... And then, oh, you, know, yo. You, know, you get to live forever. Ain't no way. You die in combat. You can die in combat. Is it everyone? They can't rob you of a hero's death. <laughs> so, so that's you, always you, you can only die valiantly. For real. <laughs> Correct. Oh, so it's kind of like that thing of when you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Sure. <laughs> the details there. Are accurate. <laughs> yeah. I Real. Know. That one is just crazy because it has almost nothing to do with rolling loud. <laughs> it's rolling yeah. loud pole, but it's all about how if you have sex with an elf, you live forever. Which is true. And Future's the only performer. Really? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, I've it seen is. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Not the director's cut. I don't know if the director was cut actually. Yeah, I was thinking about that. He might have been uncircumcised. We should look into that. Probably. Probably. <laughs> it doesn't really change much. Well, yeah, no, it does change the way I watch the movie for yeah. sure. Yeah, I gotta know. Real. I, gotta I like my directors to be cut. Yeah, <laughs> me too. This is considering a new graphic for our videos. Let me know what you guys think about this. It's just like a, a little joke sign that shows up. Like, I don't know if people know when a joke is happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just had like a sign in like the top right or top left. Mm -hmm. It's just a joke. Kind of like a uh, cute. I remember this. Yeah. Here comes a joke. Here comes a real story from my childhood. Here comes, yeah, yeah, trauma. Real. Yeah. 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 a trauma sign and a joke sign. <laughs> so kind of go back and forth. Uh, at one point they can kind of bleed, like overlap. Yeah, like a JAMA sign. <laughs> <laughs> like chiclet face or something like that. No. Okay. Oh. I mean, I'm not saying that. <laughs> well, if you'll indulge me, uh, you know, my childhood, I got bullied for my teeth being so small. Mm -hmm. When I would, This is actually a true story. When I was in sixth grade. Trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Trauma side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rolling the North Pole is funnier, though. Oh, wait. That's a good one, but like, it, yeah. this isn't fair. This one isn't fair. I feel like if it was. Hmm. Yeah, no, that still wouldn't be fair. Yeah, this just isn't fair. That feels like a different show. Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't feel edited the same. There's it, like, it doesn't. It feels like an old past. An mm -hmm. old past. Yeah. Thing, you know? no season season two. Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. True. <laughs> now we've got Reese. This is a the good one. Getting jumped by 8.3 million people. <laughs> Do you think there's anything we could say on here that would get the government to show up at the door? Absolutely. <laughs> really? What are some of those things we could say? Why would you ask me that? I'm not going to say the I'm things. I'm curious. I'm wondering, so I don't say them. What would they be? All right, let me do it this way, okay? Read between the lines. I'm going to go to the... <whistles> and I'm going <whistles> to... The... Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> show up we I might get shut down I or something I, I think they might next time i'm at the mall i'm gonna <laughs> a bunch of woo 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 that seemed really uh -huh. explicit that didn't even seem like you would have to read between the lines there you literally went <laughs> 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 if you saw my hands it was more of a, it was loose but it was it was a loose yeah it was a loose they can't they can't prove that have you ever heard beyond the reasonable doubt i like that album it's a great album there's not yeah, much real. beyond the reasonable doubt honestly no. can't knock the hustle mary yeah. j blige another example here i'm thinking about getting a 
hiding it in the desk of the and letting it go. <laughs> a bunch of people are gonna. That was <laughs> everybody who works at this specific government <laughs> is gonna get. This. It's like you're almost censoring the wrong words. Yeah. You probably should have censored government there. You think so? Yeah. I'm gonna go to Hertz Rent a Car and. <laughs> My body in the trunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dump it in the. <laughs> Yo. So I won't say any of that stuff, and then we should be good. And if you do, make sure you do what I did and kind of hide the, the, the meat. Yeah, hide the meat. Leave just the bread and maybe the lettuce and the tomatoes, but definitely you don't want the meat in there. Of that <laughs> knock knock sandwich. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, great in that. that one's brand new too. And yeah. Hertz rent a car comes back again. Yeah. yeah. Hertz rent a car. Yeah. I guess. And we love being unhinged when we have sponsors. Yeah. Absolutely. Do. <laughs> Imagine getting jumped by 8.3 million people. Walking in an alley. It's like dark at night. You're like, oh shit, is that 8.3 million people? Sneaking <laughs> <laughs> <out> behind you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm all right. <laughs> oh, shit, I think that's 8.3 million people. They're super mad at me oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a yeah. thought. I love the sound like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's so many people to think about. Too many Crossing people. Street yeah. idea is so good. Oh, I'm over there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like people. No, I better get out. They look like they want to fight. That's literally the entire population of Earth. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 8.3 million. That's uh. Are you sure? I'm yeah, pretty no. sure. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, no, definitely. Eight point <laughs> Earth, an Earth's worth of people. Earthworths. Read between the lines is funnier to me. Yeah, yeah. I'll read between the lines. I like when we agree. Did you hear about that book bar that they opened in this neighborhood? Uh -uh. It's three stories, and you can like order drinks, and it's like a library. You can check out books. I feel like they need to work on their selection. Three stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book bar. Come on now. <laughs> Yo. Next, we got Word. <laughs> didn't know he was. <laughs> I remember Word. I think about this one a lot. Ready Player One's fire. Was it you that didn't like that? I've never seen it. This it, bro. Another. Yo, this video had a lot of good ones, bruh. <laughs> I've been to the bar downtown in Detroit, though. Arcade bar, Ready Player One. I think it's closed. Ah, I was there before it was closed. Big blue drinks. And big blue games. So. Big blue bartenders, too. Yeah, mm. that was odd. That, <laughs> that was, was odd. That one took me off yeah, guard. They were like Smurf hulks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was strange. It was Damn a blue yeah. man group, but like Avatars. mixed with like a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> Greased up Avatar people. The walls would bleed there, too. What was up with that? Everybody's face was like really well. Yeah. That was odd. We took a lot of acid before we went, though. I only took six, seven, eight, nine. Ten gel tabs. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's probably just the place. The atmosphere is weird there. Big blue bartenders. Yo. Walls are bleeding. Everybody's faces are all swirly. And I figured out what I want to do with my life. Yeah, and it was like a Salvador Dali bathroom. Yeah. Mm. I remember that. The toilet was like. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all over the floor just to be safe. <laughs> I ordered tater tots and it looked like a tortoise. I tried to play skee ball and my mom popped out of the middle hole. I remember this. <laughs> said, you were a terrible son. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> were, I still am. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I haven't seen this full bit in a while. Terrible, son, you go, work. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> oh, word. Word. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a great thing to say at like an intervention, too. Hey, listen, yeah. we've all gathered here because we care about you. Oh, word? <laughs> Pass me a beer. <laughs> it's got a lot of good moments. It, just it does. Because, like, we're describing this arcade bar that yeah. really existed, mm -hmm. explaining the place as if you're on acid, <laughs> and that's how everybody else is seeing it, too. <laughs> but it just turns into this dumb bit about just word. word. <laughs> it turns into an intervention bit. Yeah. It's, oh, man, that one is so good. Range. Big blue games. <laughs> Big blue bartenders. <laughs> Smurf folks. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Oh, it's YouTube. <laughs> it's YouTube. <laughs> nah, the shock on his face. Big blue, games. Big blue bartenders. Too. It's like, yeah, they're like Smurf folks. <laughs> <laughs> the way his smile drops instantly. What are we doing right now? Oh, it's YouTube. <laughs> it's YouTube. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> them go on YouTube. What? Now you're nervous? <laughs> How did you not know these were going on YouTube? I don't know. Yo. I you just kept them for yourself. This is for us. So when people come up to you in person and say, "Are you that guy from YouTube?" What do uh, you think that's from? I thought they meant I looked like Ethan from H three. Like Ethan from H three? You don't think so? <laughs> Yo. I don't know. Thought maybe they thought I looked like a hot wing. <laughs> Are you saying Hot Ones is a Hot Ones reference? Yeah. <laughs> I need a drumstick. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. that, that's my cute face, man. That's your cute face? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I was a little hot wing. I don't know if that's <laughs> your cute face, man. For real. It is. It's dainty. I'll say that. It's yeah, dainty. Fair. Exactly. Yeah. Elegant. It, it's small. Yes. Mm. Like your mouth becomes much smaller. Than mm. No one likes a big slop mouth. That's not true. People love big mouth. Ugh. At least the first season, people liked it. Yeah, it was good. Nick fair. Kroll. Yeah, Nick Kroll. John <laughs> Mulaney. Yeah. yeah. Sweetness, I was only joking when I said I'd write you. That's the Smith. <laughs> big nice. mouth strikes again. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Pretty easy. Word. Word. Here. Oh, yeah. Word. Mm -hmm. Neil Hibachi versus Cranial the Grape Snake. <laughs> Cranial. You know people who can do tricks with guns, who will, like take a bullet and like flip into the air into the chamber sure. or whatever, like crazy stuff like that. That is like super meticulous. Yeah. And in cartoons, there's always like a crazy chef or cook who will like throw food up into the air and like cut yeah. it into a bunch of things. How does that happen in real life? I feel like there should be a chef so good that they could literally throw it up into the air and like cut it with their hands and all that. And this man never been to Benny Honest. I was just about to. <laughs> Hibachi grill. Yeah. Is. I've no. been to a hibachi grill. They don't do it like that. Get out of the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. This is what they do. <laughs> Literally. And there, your burger is. <laughs> <laughs> you a burger from a hibachi place? <laughs> they go like this. <laughs> I watched this one like two days ago. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. Okay, maybe I haven't been to one. <laughs> Honestly, like this is what they do. This is what they do. <laughs> A single apple. <laughs> Sometimes I've seen them do this too. All the bits are already chopped up, kind of like pre-chopped up stuff, and they'll throw it up. <laughs> Lasagna. <laughs> See, I'm so confused because I thought I had been to hibachi places, but burgers, lasagnas, and apples? I mean, there's, there's two different rooms. The back room. The amateur chefs, kind of the citizen chef, they do the egg, the onion tower. They throw a little shrimp in your date's mouth, you know, basic stuff. There's a VIP section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your oranges, your melons. <laughs> yeah. See, last time I was at one of those places, I actually got really jealous. So I'm like, listen. I'm the only one who puts shrimp in my dates. <laughs> <laughs> Classic joke right there to end it off. I know. love Ben's yeah. reaction to it. This man never been to a Benihana. <laughs> <laughs> really good banter moments yeah. and yeah. really good like, <laughs> yeah. you never know like what you're going to say. So, yeah, it's got a yeah. real good flow to it. The name is Cranial, which makes me think that their original name is Randall. <laughs> 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 name yeah. either. <laughs> Randall, it's Granul now. Oh, I'm, a yeah. I'm a crip. It's a Granul now. I'm a Grape Street crip. <laughs> I'm Granul. I'm Granul now. You're Yo. having guests over. All right, Branyol's going through a little phase. He says he's a Grape Street crip. <laughs> you just call him Granul. Otherwise, he's gonna flip out and he'll ruin dinner. He comes downstairs waving a flag. He goes, "What up, cut?" <laughs> <laughs> In the loafers. <laughs> Uncle's like, hey, Cran, show me that crip walk again. Let me try it. <laughs> I why I didn't give the Cranial got it. That voice. Yeah. It's like a drill sergeant voice. He's like, oh, I'm Cranial now. <laughs> Mom, I'm a great street crip. <laughs> I did that on video. Yeah. Talking about pushing boundaries, that one's good. Not for real. Yeah, I mean, it's up I there. love real hibachi. Me and too. I know it's a classic, but the other one makes Come on, bro. Yeah. So Cranial. Like this also is one, like, this, this is great. The only show that can yeah. do yep. that bit and make it work. I feel like. And that circumstance was perfect for it. It's not like we came from thin air. No. Yeah. So I found out afterwards that Sam, who works on the videos, mm -hmm. he wrote the name Braniel as his name. Like he wrote the car <laughs> and named himself Braniel. That's crazy. Turned it into that bit. So. That's great. Thank you for making the W Alley. <laughs> now we got whole bowl versus Obama's drone strikes. I got a, me. I had a Mickey Mouse club in my old house. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of those things. Oh, like a club to hit mice? Is that what you're doing? Is that the video? No, like there were so many mice, it was a club. It was oh. pretty much a social <laughs> club for mice. 
Oh, okay. And then Yo. Get, like some other weapon to get rid of them. Yeah, I use a bowl of oil. A bowl of oil? Yeah, I get like a glass bowl and I just put like maybe that much baby oil in it. Uh huh. And then I lure them in there, usually with a pan flute. And then when they come <laughs> in, they can't get out because they get all slippery. <laughs> <laughs> they get oily and slippery and then yeah. they can't run is that what it is it works they can't get out of the ball because it's so lubed up <laughs> <laughs> they sell stuff that's like specifically like mouse traps and stuff. Yeah, yeah but this one's really humane because once i let them outside they're all lubed up for their mouse sex <laughs> you know what i mean they're slick right. they're sh- <laughs> slick slick how do you let them outside I take the bowl outside. The whole bowl, and then yeah. you dump the <laughs> bowl, and I'll say, my roommate's like, full bowl, and they'll be like, get him, get him, and I let him outside, and then they, yeah. yo. And then if they get back into the house, you might hear like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's from the female mouse. Male mouse don't make any noise. Much like humans, eh? Real. Like humans. We're, we're, we're not, we're not the different after all. <laughs> Real. <laughs> The mouth sex noises are awesome. <laughs> I can make those sounds that way. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, nah. Mm-hmm. Oh! Yeah, sorry. Yikes. Don't do that. Don't sorry. Do that. There you go. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. Yikes. I can't do it anymore. I don't really have it. You yeah. know what I mean? Right on! It sounds like the, the wrong one. I don't know. Something's up. That's all right. That's a real Crazy. That's mice, too. I bet it is. People do that. I like that you say we yell whole bowl, and then right after you go, full bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was Dignan, huh? Yeah. Never mind. That's what Dignan said, though. You always get us mixed up. I used to not think you guys even looked alike, but now Yeah. Is, no. You should act more like him. I think that's really what it gets. For real. I'd be canceled. They hang out too much. I don't want to get into that. Okay. I hate cancel culture. Just kidding. I love it. Just kidding. I hate it. Just kidding. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> some of those same criticisms for Western culture. I mean, it's not like just because he held the office. He's like a dumbass. <laughs> he drone bombed a bunch of people over there. You, that wasn't a soul call. Everybody's got to get off that wave. It's not like he was in his office and he's like, you know what's up today? Killing people. <laughs> a like hundred people that were like, you should fucking kill these people. They are bad motherfuckers. And he's like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably like, holy shit, what a rush. <laughs> and he did it again and yeah. again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. And those generals were like, yes, yes, Mr. President, do it again. Let's wipe them out. Purple <laughs> <laughs> Kane song on. I'm, I'm really into that jam recently, and maybe they'll forget about the collateral damage. <laughs> Smithers. <laughs> Unfortunate accident. <laughs> <laughs> all my hats like that. Oh, all I know. Time is just the best. That's Real. The, best part about it. the fact that you try to do any sort of political commentary <laughs> at all with your hands <laughs> sideways. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. That impression I gotta go whole bowl. Does not sound like Obama, though. Ridley? No. Oh. It sounded like Pikachu. That was Bits Bracket 1, Riley. Kool-Aid Man won Bits Bracket 1. So what do you... Oh, having a stroke. Hey, now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got them chubby cheeks? <laughs> uh, I do, huh? Yeah. Uh, it did sound like Pikachu, though. Okay, it did great. Really it didn't. Like but yeah. that's all right. It did. Yeah, <laughs> you sound like Gyarados. Now, imagine for a second that I was a little fish. <laughs> but I'm not a little fish anymore. No, I'm a big dragon. <laughs> kids. It's on your playgrounds. It's in your schools. Is that what Gyarados sounds like? I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> and which bathroom does he use? Which bathroom does Gyarados use? <laughs> it's whole Yeah, it's whole it, is. it is. It is. Because the lubed up mice, lubed up for their mouse sex. So yeah. yeah. So takes it over. Yep. Cold shoulders versus the babilic days. <laughs> you know, I had a fiance get cold shoulders. She was my chicken bride. <laughs> Didn't show up. Cold shoulders? <laughs> It's cold feet. <laughs> She's got cold shoulders. <laughs> oh, sorry. Your jacket. Your shoulders are cold, Grant, and I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Is that weird? Like you just yes, said, yeah, I yeah. really forgot. For real. Cold shoulders. <laughs> cold shoulders uh, instead of cold feet. Yeah. I fair. really got after you. I love Eden's delivery. I'm just, quick, Graydon, warm me up before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get that bitch a jacket. <laughs> That's <is> crazy. <laughs> well, bestiality was cool in the bi- biblic days. <laughs> My blalic? The bibilic? The bibilic days? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy? Is that, is that Dr. Phil? Now, you're on a cruise ship with Noah, if you know. There's two spiders on you. I don't know. <laughs> is that Dr. Phil? <laughs> yeah, no, Noah's wife, he did not 
fuck the animals, if that helps. Babelic <laughs> <laughs> dice. Babelic dice. Babelic got it. It really does just sound exactly like either Dr. Phil or Jeff Foxworth. Yeah. <laughs> I can only think of it that way. And Real. the fact that he just like kind of combusts when he starts thinking. Like he's just like, ah! like, like laughs <laughs> as punctuation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very strange. Cold shoulders is way funnier though. Neither of them are like uh, big standouts to yeah. me. Yeah. Like they're just like little moments. I'll go with Babilic days. Sure. Grant, break the tie. I'll take cold shoulders. Okay. Shout out to Eden. Shout out Eden. Last one on the first side, we've got Adele is Jamaican me British versus Riley has a graphic design degree. Adele's British? <laughs> She's Jamaican, but yeah. She's Jamaican me British. <laughs> <laughs> Adele is Jamaican me British because her music is so fucking <laughs> yo. <laughs> Don't you get it? No, I get it. I was laughing. For some reason that took me like imagine like a children's hospital, a bunch of terminally ill kids, and like a doctor comes in and is like, you know what's gonna Jamaican you kids feel better? Oh, Adele's here to <laughs> <laughs> like, Piano. She like plays the kid. Why would the doctor make the Jamaican joke there? <laughs> the kids. <laughs> funny. Laughter is a part of healing. <laughs> like an MC oh, man. and break the ice of the crowd with a joke before introducing the serious act. Yeah, but like the, the, <laughs> Jamaican is like you're making or she's making. She's like, gonna make the like, kids feel better. I know, but he's <laughs> in, she's, she's Jamaican. <laughs> Yeah, she's here. To, she's here to Jamaican. <laughs> Feel better. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that doesn't make any grammatical sense. Today, kids, we got a special surprise for you. British and Jamaican star Adele is here <laughs> to Jamaica. You feel better. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this makes even less sense. <laughs> Bob Marley nod. Oh, yo. He's only got like 30 seconds. He's got to get all his jokes off. I love when a good bit is like, you're just laughing the whole yep. time anyway, and the bit just keeps going. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Just, oh, there's nothing I can even say about that one. It's just so outrageous. <laughs> it's hilarious. The way that he's just like, she's here to Jamaican. <laughs> better. My favorite part of that bit every time is just when he's laughing through it and says, and laughter is a big part. <laughs> he gives out in the yep. laughter. So the actual funniest yeah. part. Of so good. I have a graphic design degree, and I have a letter from my four times great grandfather sealed in his blood. I have a graphic design degree, and I have a questionable judgment of character. I have a graphic design degree, and I have a spare tire in my bedroom. <laughs> I have a graphic design degree. And I have a mouse that lives in my pillowcase. <laughs> Yo. <It's> Winslow. <laughs> Did you graphic design school, Dad? <laughs> uh, Winslow. That was a real? Mm -hmm. Oh no, what yeah. happened to Winslow? Crawled in my ass. Comes <laughs> out of there alive. You've been having a good season, so, you know, no more. I'm gonna go with the uh, British. Last season, your uh, wins low. This time, <sighs> wins are high. <laughs> wins high. Oh, yikes. Yo. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't self harm on TV. <laughs> Is this on TV? Look. Yeah, it's a bad <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> do that. You're on TV? For yeah. real? This is live television. <laughs> Yo. You don't think so? No. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you, like, Gun show. Hmm? This is what a six-year-old does when a camera gets turned on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm on TV. There you go. You have a lot of charisma for such a nervous person. Yo. Yeah, so, oh, oh. Right. Don't do that. That's I won't. It was a gag. It was a visual <laughs> gag. Yeah. All right. No, no, for the guns. Where's my wallet? I should take my wallet out. No, you don't. <laughs> you're good, man. You're doing a good job. No. Uh, which bit do you think was funnier? I'm on TV. Give me a second. I get second. it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Adele is Jamaican me British. <laughs> yeah. A nice little Low moment key. with the graphic design. Well, that's like a good back and forth, yeah. kind of a prepared bit. I didn't know what you were going to say. Right. It's Real. very nice. I like that we did that. I think we did it more than once as well. Yeah. So yeah. I like the spare tire in the room. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> that's the best part of that. But I just, I don't like seeing it on here because it's not a bit that I have a graphic design degree. I really do. I don't like it because I hug you at the end. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That was cute. Yeah. Not going to happen again. Uh -huh. I can see me loving nobody but you hey. for all my life. <laughs> Jamaican me British. He's not actually Jamaican, by the British. way. It's like a thing on the internet. Look it up. 
<laughs> no, she is. Oh, wait. I, okay, hold on a minute. On the internet, look it up. <laughs> All right, second side. Oh, cool. This is like a normal thing for a YouTube channel to read aloud. 9 11 challenge versus Green wants to see Jay Z's penis. <laughs> Still do. 9 to 11, and you know what that calls for. <sighs> 9-11 challenge. Grant, ask me that toy. Oh, plan. man. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold up both mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this, 90s Conan? It's like, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Wait. It takes a while for the jet fuel emits the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh and the second God. one goes down first. Bad up there. Uh, I hope yeah. that it doesn't... Wow! <laughs> Tony, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. <sighs> Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, God I hit the wall! I barely did. <laughs> I don't even know if anybody died besides the people on the plane. <laughs> be a field in Pennsylvania. <sighs> this is our plane. You're not gonna take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is there left of it? Oh my god! What a terrible day for America! But it ends up uniting. <laughs> 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 Is gonna be George W. Bush, and he's gonna throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is gonna go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free. <laughs> Mexico. That's awesome. Long live Mexico, bro. Uniting us all. all. <laughs> the fact that the whole time you're wearing a Mexico hat, and then yep. it has like a perfect, like while we're singing that song, yep. you have to point to it. <laughs> so good. Also, you know. No, I've learned so much about 9-11 from doing this and now the new ones. Yeah. The new 9-11 challenges Real. we've done. Oh, yeah. Because, of course, we've done more of them now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's inevitable a game's going to be 9-11. Yeah, it just happens. But, yeah. you know, I've learned that the second tower actually fell first. Yes. So, so the first one gets hit, and that one kind of, like, smolders for a mm -hmm. while, and the other one gets hit and falls immediately. Yeah. So yeah. we've been doing the 9-11 challenge wrong, but hey. rest assured we will get it right the <laughs> show, fourth and fifth time that we did it. <laughs> it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. And also, Yikes. I want people to know that that was not planned in any way. <laughs> when you say, and you know what that means, you know what that calls for, whatever you say. It is complete improv that I'm like a 9 11 challenge. <laughs> <laughs> This one happened completely organic. Oh man, that's Jesus. funny. These nudes leaked. I'd be like, let me see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so backwards. <laughs> Jay-Z is famously not good looking. Yeah, but like he's Jay-Z. He's big Jay-Z. He's a big Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay but in Jay-Z's case, it's been with Beyonce. And so I'd have to see what she's seen, you know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> he's not like married to the most famous woman ever. And so I'm not interested in what his penis looks like. Okay, maybe I'd check it out. <laughs> maybe I'd want to look. Maybe I'd be a little curious. Who wouldn't be curious? Let's be honest. Than other rappers. Why is your interest in seeing a rapper's penis contingent on which women have seen it. <laughs> we'd have that in common, I guess. You just want to be closer to Beyonce in some way? Kind of, yes. <laughs> Real. Can you blame me for that? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. 9-11 <laughs> challenge, strange. got it, bro. Let's be honest. Hey, one. Yeah, I would, though, and I would like to still. But it's just so weird. Lil Wayne is considered hot, and you're like, ugh. And then Jay-Z is considered kind of ugly, man. And you're like, let me see that penis. Yeah, I mean, I'm not into dudes. My wanting to see their penis here is strictly educational. Right. Yo. Academics. Mm. Uh, attraction on the positive end does not influence your reasoning. Negative attraction seems to, because you only say that Lil Wayne is ugly and gross, and that's why you don't want to see his penis. Mm. I confuse myself sometimes. Your logic is a little flawed <laughs> It's here, crooked. But not Fair. challenge washes this one. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It, it does. It to all those who lost their lives on that tragic day. I yes. Agree. agree with that. My Michael Jackson was supposed to be in the towers those days, that day. Yep. Yeah. Seth MacFarlane, too. He missed it. He overslept. I got a lot of details about this day, dude. Oh, I'll me too. To the next one. Seth MacFarlane also missed his flight. We can do it like from yep. his perspective. Perfect. He was going to be on one of the planes. Yep. Good. <laughs> Yo. It's good, it's good, good that he yeah. wasn't, yeah, so we good. got the rest of Family Guy. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now we got the top stops versus slapstick thirst traps. <laughs> sexy about when he's younger than his daughter. 
Next. Next. There's something sexy about a father who's younger than his kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> no one else? Never thought that. I'm glad they didn't Back to the Future it, though. I'm glad they didn't hook uh, it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just scene, saying, I don't the know. The scene kind of ends abruptly. It's we don't true. know what happened in that. Yikes. It's kind of like Inception. You don't know if the top stops or whatever. fucked up one. That's about Interstellar, by the way. Yeah. It wasn't on the screen, so Interstellar, Real. the movie, that's what we're talking about mm -hmm. there. But, I mean, wow. The Merv. Merv! <laughs> Because he says that in the movie. Well, yeah, all the yeah. time. He's, he's like, he's in that weird, like, shadow room where yeah. he's Yo. there, and he's like, Marv, Marv, about his daughter. Like, and she's like, what the hell's that? Is my dad younger than me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like Matthew McConaughey. Like, I'd he, fuck that. And Eden, <laughs> she was very funny. Yeah. I love, even just at the beginning when she goes, next. she goes, next. Yeah. <laughs> Blonde Eden, rest in peace. She's alive, she's dyed her hair, but. Yeah, died. Okay. Real. <laughs> you think if I went, like, hard as fuck on thirst traps on TikTok, I would blow the shit up. Probably, but you have a pretty like fertile foundation for that. Like, you, there's a lot of people who are fans of you on the internet. Yeah, already. but I just was, if I like hit it, like pedal the metal, fuck <laughs> off, thirst trappy as shit. Like, I'm in like rolled up underwear to make them shorter, and I'm like, just day one, starting progress, follow me on my journey, and like a hot dog slips out of my pants. <laughs> the ground's covered in oil, and I get up, and I'm all glistening and stuff. Yo. Like, Whoops, all right, sorry. Boop, That's deeply. not really a thirst trap. That sounds more like a <laughs> The Three Stooges episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the next. Here's the next one. The next like one like picks it up. It gets way sexier. <laughs> and I'm gonna flannel. It's a little. Yeah, it's it's, it's unbuttoned yeah. all the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the way unbuttoned. I go to hit the wood, and it makes like a squeaky dog. <laughs> it's me in the face with a cream pie. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't get a mean to get all this cream all over my gosh darn face and I put a little on me and then squirrels and other like fucking wildlife from the woods come and like eat it off me and I Yo. as I unbutt my pants, the video ends. <laughs> Yo. That's like fucking sexy. I mean, that would be crazy. It's also very slapstick comedy. It's like sound effect humor. What? Cream pie in the face. What? Isn't that sexy, though? Cream pie? I, some, people, <laughs> some people might think that's sexy in a certain way, but I think it's it's combining. The squeak of the toy? No, that's funny. It's like hot, though. I mean, like, ear, ear. Okay, okay. Wait. It's Yo. A, it's yeah, a trilogy. Yeah, great things come in threes. The next one is like a full on movie set and it's like a late night show it's like the last scene of the joker with joaquin phoenix but i don't have Real. clown makeup on i have all sorts of other makeup it's a collagical mishmash experience mm. all over the world you with me yeah i'm there i guess i yeah. get on the talk show obviously i sit down there's a whoopee cushion a big one <laughs> a big one i sit up and i have huge shoes on and the host goes what's up with the huge shoes you big sexy hunk and i say these things Things, it's because I got huge feet and I wink, <laughs> but I have so much makeup on it seals my eye shut. <laughs> so like, Come here and give me a hand and the host has to <laughs> kind of peel my cinched eye back up and then yo I, and then wait I lift some weights and then I uh, go back to the wood chopping. I don't know. What? I need a sexy coach. Could you be my sexy coach? I just ditch all of these premises. These what? premises are all slapstick comedy premises. Slapstick. You're wearing clown shoes. You have a whoopee cushion. I mean, this isn't like thirst trap stuff. <laughs> I mean, the girl sits on a whoopee cushion near me, even if there's not a cushion, it sounds like she sits on a whoopee cushion. I, I, that's Anyone, real. For that matter. That's just kind of real. what you're into, and that's fine, but like, <laughs> I don't think that's going to work with a big audience. If anymore. wildlife eats food off of someone's wild body, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> yeah. To most people. No, not to most people. Imagine a deer licking you clean. I, that's not something that I'm into. <laughs> it could all be so simple. You Imagine really, you, all you have to do is like unbutton your shirt down to here okay. and just kind of like do a dance or yeah. maybe like smile at the camera and use like some audio that's really popular. And, and a big anvil falls on <laughs> <laughs> It's like an infl It's not a real anvil. Well, no, I didn't expect you to actually get crushed by an anvil. I'm yeah. saying don't involve all this fucking wily, like, wily coyote shit. I'm the piano falls, but I'm like standing perfectly in the middle. But my teeth are replaced with the key. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh oh! <laughs> this is a fucking Looney Tunes. You don't say, have to do this. I say, follow me on my workout journey. <laughs> 
I'm just too much. Should I eat a rat? No. Yo. You know what? Don't even get TikTok. Yeah, I want to be a thirst trap. Confused by his own thirst traps. Like asking you for. I know. Yeah. Like halfway through, he's like, "I need you to coach me on this." So much conviction at first that this is the stuff that is sexy. Yeah. Loses that plot. Yep. Entirely. That's like any conversation with him. He's just like a moron. Big anvil. That's funny. That was hilarious. Yeah. And I give him inflatable too. The actual thirst trap advice, and he's like, "Then big anvil." <laughs> God, he is stupid. That one's long. It's way better than the top stops, though. In my yeah, opinion. it is. It's like proper funny. Now we get yeah. scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers. <laughs> celebration. Scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers. You're telling me these lunch suckers don't know suck punchers? <laughs> That's, can you just like text that to me? <laughs> Scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers? Yeah, I heard you. I You're don't... telling me that's lunch suckers? <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's totally that's funny, man. I already I'm forgot such it. a serious person. What? You just <sighs> threw together a bunch of syllables that sound similar. Fud Ruckers is a restaurant. I know. Scrunch fuckers are little guys scrunched up together. <laughs> Scrunch fuckers are at Fud Ruckers. You're telling me lunch suckers? That's a special they run on Wednesdays for lunch. <laughs> Not what I said. <laughs> All work together, I'm telling you. Yo. Like sucker suck punchers. Yeah, yeah. Suck punchers. Suck punchers. Yeah. <laughs> And that's like, I'll punch the scrunch fucked up guys if they eat all the lunch specials. <laughs> okay. So that makes it a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just the explanation. <laughs> it's the most derivative, like, nonsense slop of a bit, but it's so funny. Scrunch fuckers. They're scrunched up little guys. <laughs> The scrunch fucked up guys. <laughs> <laughs> like it just loses itself so many times. It does. Friends. It says, can you text that to me? <laughs> I put Snoop Dogg. That's what I put. It is Snoop Dogg. Hey! Hey! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, what, what? Am I supposed to know this? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a stiff body. Amen. <laughs> Yo. Don't, did we practice that or something? Yeah. <laughs> that was my Homer celebration. I didn't know you when you were in Little League. I met you like, what, a year and a half, two years ago now? We weren't on Little League together? No. Well, I just stopped playing about a year ago. Why were you playing Yo. Little League? Aren't you like in your 40s? <laughs> disability. Which learning disability? The curveball. And the knuckle. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't seem like anything. <laughs> <laughs> Home run got it for me, I dude. God, that, that, that one fuck. is insane. Oh my god. Jumping <laughs> back and forth between. So <laughs> please don't fucking let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> Praying for your life. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> like a sports celebration. <laughs> please don't fucking let me do that. <laughs> Yeah, that one's good. I, mean, I have a learning disability. The curveball. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. That one's fire. That one definitely wins. Yes. That one has to go to round oh three. God. I literally did not know when I read it, like, what it was. I don't remember. I yeah. was like, what is that? <laughs> Amen. The... <laughs> <laughs> I'm got broker versus turning a hospital into a Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese got it already. Tonight we're at Shrek Rave. <laughs> what it's all about. Obviously, I'm Shroker. <laughs> He's gonna dress up, but uh. uh, uh oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, oh man, I paused the recording. Hold on. I thought everyone else was gonna dress up, but uh. Uh. uh oh God. What? What is this guy don't dressed as? I gotta. Is it? Is it Joker? I'm Shroker. Shroker. You, that's actually pretty cool. Is that not bad? Hey, we're <laughs> Shroker, and I'm starting to wonder what the fuck the point of everything is. It's like, whose fucking swamp is it? It's obviously not mine. It's a fucking big, stinky swamp. <laughs> Yo. I need some fucking help. Uh.
<laughs> nah, bro, why is this so hard, though? I need some fucking help. Uh. Why the fuck? We're just having the worst time. It's the best night of my life, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's the only one actually on drugs. <laughs> Bro. You're fucking here it's fucking Shrek rave or whatever, dude. <laughs> Stop with all it of this. It it's like, matter, no, dude. it matters. None of this shit. Thank you for joining us on this <laughs> Nah, bro. Wonderful journey. Baby, I'm a believer in just, you know, life having meaning. And that's the main point of this video. Bro, this I can't. This has been Shrek Rave. <laughs> Easily my proudest work. Oh, Real. Man. It's genius, honestly. It is. I remember telling it to everyone what I was going to do, and everybody said, why would you do that? Not me. <laughs> you didn't love the idea at first. No, I loved the idea. I said, I'm going to paint my face green and give myself a joker smile, and everybody said, I don't know. That's not. <laughs> you actually told me not to do it. I did not do you that. You said, I'm going to call the cops if you do that. Didn't do that. And then it, it lit up the room, and people said, I get it now. I feel like Yo. you are like like putting your own self-doubt yeah. words in my mouth. Like you think everybody was worried it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. But the doubt. execution was perfect. Yeah, I agree. I didn't. And the makeup was good. I agree. Also, yeah, I real. didn't doubt you for a second. Yeah, I did. loved the idea. <laughs> Everyone doubted me. My dad called me. Said, "Don't do it, son. Stay at home." And I said, "Dad, I have to be Shroker." How <laughs> you were gonna do? He caught the wind. Caught wind. Caught. <laughs> he didn't catch wind inside all day. Catches <laughs> <laughs> his. Secondhand smoke. Yeah. And that was for, mean. first hand smoke. Sorry. That was mean. Yeah, let's take it back. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted your There's no yet. Shroker without Larry. I'm sorry. For real. I literally think this is like the most underrated bit of that we've done, yeah. maybe. It definitely is. I haven't yeah. seen I haven't seen that one like on any clip channels or anything. Like that hasn't popped up in any of the compilations or anything. Cause trust me, I've watched them, all of them, multiple times. That one isn't in, in it's not in any of them, bro actually very proud of that video. I am Didn't too. get it to Real. the views, but everybody who's seen it loves it. Yeah. Real. It's uh, a great time. It's only getting better with time too. Mm. In five years, it, that video is going to be so funny. Yeah. It's like, what Real. the fuck, a Shrek rave. It's such a weird <laughs> in thing. time yeah. that's happening. Yeah. yeah. And people were really having fun there. I had a lot of fun there. Yeah. It was the most fun I've had doing anything like on the street. If you haven't seen the video, Fair. this isn't going to make sense to you, but shout out to Black Riley. Yeah. As well. <laughs> oh, so they bought their own school. They bought their own school. School. <laughs> they turned it into a community center. So they stopped it from being a school? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like buying a hospital and turning it into a Chuck E. Cheese. Or something. <laughs> okay, this hospital saved me from liver disease, so I'm gonna buy it and turn it into a, a movie theater. <laughs> cool. Oh, this is the ICU? Make it a ball pit. <laughs> Doom and gloom around here. Let's have a little fun. Yo. Healthy. Bring in the clowns. Let me call the game. He's got a diamond car. I bet you the kids love I love that just as a premise. Yeah. Great premise. Yeah. But also, like, turning a school into a community center, that's a good thing, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The community center is a is yeah. a positive for the community. It is. It's just using that as a jumping off point. Yeah. Because I felt a little odd about that one afterwards. Because mm -hmm. I was like, honestly, bro, I think my prediction was wrong. I might have to give it to Shroker here, bro. All the way track, but at the to same time. To be honest. Time, I like where it Went, yeah, you know, I got fixed at the hospital. Let's have some fun. Around. Yeah, I see you make it a ball pit <laughs> easily. Shroker, though, Shroker, yeah. Balls. Next, we've got a world where girls can't sing versus baby recipes. Mm. Girls can sing, and I think it's sweet when they do. Sweet, 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 sweet. You know what? If they were trying to pass a law that said girls can't sing anymore, I would kill myself. I would, <laughs> I would object to it. Yeah. I would walk down to City Hall with like, like a, a big contraption, kind of like a hamster wheel, but it's got a bunch of guns on it. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just, it's a the threat and kind of the yeah. theater of it. And I just Real. go down to City Hall and say, let them sing. <laughs> let them sing. I put my hands in a toaster and say, not taking them out until they let them sing. Nice. And I go live on TikTok. Oh, Real. okay. Uh, gesture of solidarity. Thank I you. like that. And then I'd walk into a police station and I'd go. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it seems like it wouldn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> Police station? So, excuse me, I think I lost my... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Terrible, Terrible idea for say, me. Say, good afternoon, what can we help you with? And I'll say... 
say, that's a, that's I was like, give me a second. Yo. That's what happened right, like immediately, right? Sweet relief, pal. You got covered <laughs> with bullets. I don't want to live in a world where girls can't sing. <laughs> See, I realize uh, your dedication. Yeah. Yeah. Your dedication <laughs> to the cause. Yeah. I don't want to live in a world <laughs> yeah. where girls can't sing. So I'm gonna kill myself in a very kind of strange way. Yeah, death by police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. amazing bit though. Thanks. Yeah, a lot of physical things. You know, we got the the hamster wheel with the guns spinning. The theater of it yeah, all. The theater of it all. <laughs> so earlier today, I was doing research on foot fetishes, <laughs> and I found out that the reason people have foot fetishes is because the part of the brain that perceives feet is right next to the part of the brain that perceives genital stimulation. Really, that's really what it is. And I also found out that the part of the brain that perceives babies is right next to the part of the brain that perceives food. <laughs> my cousin hit his head really hard a couple weeks ago, and so those receptors switched. So now when he sees a baby, it's like he's looking at a, like a pot of gumbo or a sitting. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. I mean, he's like salivating. That is awesome. And it's not like, no, he hasn't like tried it or sure. anything. He hasn't tried yeah. one or anything right, like yeah. that. Like, Yo. Right, that's what I mean. When he walks into a daycare, I mean, his mouth is <laughs> watering like it's a breakfast buffet. That is awesome. Does he have a kid? No. He doesn't. <laughs> so why is he going in the daycare? I mean, that's, I mean, he shouldn't. That's what, I'm saying. that's what I'm saying. It's just kind of like, yeah. He hasn't done anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do you do about that? I mean, I'd just hollow out that soft spot and I'd put an egg in there and make like a hot pot. I'd press in the soft <laughs> spot. That's getting you know, that's flying a little close to the sun, don't you think? <laughs> like an egg in there. You don't have to stop at the egg if the bowl is appetizing. Well, I'm saying you eat the kid. Well, no, no, no. no. That's what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't do that. Oh. Maybe, <laughs> like put it like five feet above a fire and let that sucker spin for like 14 hours so the meat's so soft it like drips off the bones. I mean, he's <laughs> like losing his mind trying not to eat children. That's kind of oh like, oh my God. Solutions have been eating children. Yeah, yeah. That's not, he shouldn't do that yeah he thumped his head and now infants are like cheeseburgers maybe like simple like garlic butter rosemary oven Yo. 365 two and a half hours he does not need recipes broil it for the last for 15 kids. minutes to get a no, crisp this is not this is exactly the opposite i'm uh, saying like how should he restrain himself right mm. I use a cast iron pan white <laughs> vinaigrette with a salad oh and maybe some tarragon i would take uh the baby's ass the <laughs> And in that baby <laughs> fat, uh, get all the lean loins and stuff, and I'd give them a nice hard sear on the cast iron. It does sound good. <laughs> Tarragon, right. and baby fat. I mean, yeah. wow. But <laughs> Brad just absolutely stunned. Well, again, what about a thirty-day dry age? I know it takes a little extra time, but that—I mean, it really does something. By that time, it's basically a toddler. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think he'll be hungry. Yeah, he's that <laughs> route, man. It's a messy, messy road. And once you get a taste, you know what they say, Brad. That you need help. Nothing compares to the taste of human flesh. That's what they say, man. It is the most dangerous game. And the most delicious. Full of I'm just going to go a hobby. Maybe start collecting stamps or something. You ready, Brad? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to get back into the game. <laughs> Yo. Brad is dumbfounded. <laughs> I just can't believe, one, how much you know about cooking. <laughs> All right. I say stuff that I'm like, wow, you like you can tell you know how to do that stuff. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Take the baby's ass. 30 day dry age. <laughs> moments in there, you know? At that point, it'll be a toddler. He won't even be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I also noticed in the chat that the, the setup for this bit looked like I was using my cousin as a scapegoat for my for your, own. Yeah. But that's not even what I was trying to do. Real. At the moment. But I realized how it looked afterwards. It was like, oh, people think that, that I want to eat babies. <laughs> this one. Which, you know, there are worse things that could happen, I guess. But <laughs> I told people how to cook them, so. Right. <laughs> it's much funnier than the other one. I think the yeah. he's walks. Yeah, yeah. it does. Edgy. I like it. And also, it just feels bad to do any sort of theater in a world where women can't sing. Yeah. Absolutely. Now we got Dignan is in love with Big Sean versus extensive Stetson collection. <laughs> Big Sean. Yeah. Wow. I love Big Sean. Did no. you know that? Really? <laughs> Did you know that? Wow. I am I don't even get the opportunity to proclaim my love for Big Sean, but here I am sitting on the throne with a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people listening to me. And I'm gonna Yo. scream from the rooftops. Okay? Go up there. I love Big Sean. <laughs> I love you. It's ever made me feel this way. I'll do anything for you. I'm just crazy about you. Thank you, Sean. Big Sean, I love you. <laughs> Yo. Can I ask you a question? What? What do you love about him? I love your cornrows. <laughs> I'm not 
<laughs> much, much shorter than me. <laughs> Bars are so witty and that you left your wife for me. <laughs> Love you, Big Sean. <laughs> Thanks for taking me to Dolly World. Yo. <laughs> Big Sean took me to Dolly World. <laughs> I super liked them on Tinder. <laughs> that was our first date. He was rich as fuck. <laughs> he flew my ass out of the DJ straight to Dolly World. Next thing oh, man. Know, wooden roller coasters through the woods. <laughs> Me and Sean, hand in hand. <laughs> I've been from the paparazzi all day, but eventually, love wins. <laughs> By the time this video comes out, I'm sure the relationship will be public. Bruh. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with everything I've said and done. So, so you can just send that out there. And I'm Yo. Sure it will not spoil our budding romance. <laughs> I thought he was with Janae Iko. She left her because she doesn't like Dolly World. <laughs> me, on the other hand, fuck, I'm obsessed with that place. <laughs> I got a hairbrush t-shirt, Dolly World on it. Used it as a rag later on accident, but I got it. The fact that he says Dolly World and yeah. says he's obsessed with that place when it's called Dollywood. Yeah. Swimming <laughs> roller coasters through, through the, the woods. woods. Yo. That was just incredible. Yeah. I mean, so it is. I love you, Sean. <laughs> By the time this comes out, I'm sure the relationship. These bars are so witty. I'm comfortable with everything I've said and done. <laughs> so you can. I really thought in that moment that he was going to say, By the time this video comes out, the relationship will have fizzled. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> will be public, so everybody. Yo. We're moving on. <laughs> I wish them the best. Hope they're still together. Didn't they break up over the vomit omelet thing? Oh, I don't know. I don't watch the show when Dignan's on it. Oh, okay. Bruh. Yeah, he's on, honestly. He got canceled, so I can't support him. Pretty good. <laughs> so, you like that? Dignan? You like that stuff, don't you? Yeah, he brings an edge to the show that I think takes it up to the next level. I bring a little edge, too. I mean, I don't know. He's kind of like the original. It's almost like he influenced you. Interesting. Mm. He's your main influence. Mm. Hard time hearing you because I was imagining if they made slits and hats so people with two ball caps on could kiss. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, imagine like a kissing hat oh for you and your lover. That's an unbelievable an idea. idea. <laughs> sure on Shark Tank. Yeah, girl or whatever. Th theirs and theirs. Right. Kissing hats. Yeah. yeah. Kissing hats. I like that. They have a little slit in them so you can lock them up. So many times, it's actually kind Fair. of a little ro clumsy <laughs> romantic <laughs> moment where she'll like go like this and then be like. <sighs> And like pull my hat back like yeah. this, and then I look like that. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well, that's kissable, oh, but <laughs> usually they've already made the move at that a point, <laughs> right? I know, right? It's a yeah, lot, it's yes. a lot. And uh, so they usually already committed to like, I want to kiss the person, yeah. and then they see this and they go, "That's fine." And <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. But it is, uh, it is <laughs> and so the kissing hat would help. But I Yo. guess slit's gonna have to be. We're gonna have to have a couple at different angles. That's fine. Yeah, yeah maybe it's just like all slits. What if it was? just a head where <laughs> the bill was in the back and this part was in the front. Fuck yeah. Mm. So it's kind of like, it's like this. Oh shit. Like a hat that was like this. You look mm. super cool, but then where's your bill? It's on the back. Oh. It's back here actually. Yeah. yeah that middle. doesn't mm. make any sense. I know. Well, yeah, it's kind of wearing weird. your pants backwards. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What, are you gonna shit out your dick? What are you gonna do? Piss out your ass? Maybe. <laughs> if you really have to go. But yeah. <laughs> if you I feel like almost uh, <laughs> like a bad boy. I'm not seeing that. Like imagine me with like a paper airplane and I like throw mm. the teacher in the face and everybody goes, oh shit, he got him. The teacher. Yeah, the teacher in class. <laughs> Who's the teacher? <laughs> Thirty, bro. Who's the, what do you mean? Who's the teacher? Like, what are you talking about? The teacher. I take classes. <laughs> you did. Yeah, take pottery classes. Oh, nice. If you're interested in investing in the kissing hat, Venmo me. If you're interested in investing in the, I don't even know what you'd call that. A backwards hat, I guess. I guess. A yeah. back hat. <laughs> yeah, back hat. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, we got those old. There's um. Just check us out. Yeah. Check us out. Um, yeah. Check out our inventions page. Oh, gotta, yeah, gotta we'll, make an, we'll make an inventions page. Mm -hmm. Yo. Hats. You know what's crazy today when I got here? What? I went to wake Gran up, and in his room, he was cleaning his extensive Stetson collection. <laughs> extremely extensive Stetson collection. An extremely extensive Stetson collection. Yeah, I walked <laughs> in his room, and he was steaming his extremely extensive Stetson collection. Oh, interesting. And you have to steam hats like that, because they're old and musty. You should check it out sometime. Gran, do you mind showing him? 
them how extensive your Stetson collection is after this video? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, okay, cool. So wait, <laughs> I mean, is there a section for your extensive Stetson collection? Ah, there is one exception to Grant's extremely extensive Stetson collection. <laughs> what is it, a fedora? Yeah. <laughs> one exception to, I can't say it anymore. One exception to Grant's extremely extensive Stetson, Stetson collection. collection. I think we did more. We built a yeah. like section. We probably did erection at some point. For oh! Sure. Yeah, you have Yo. your extensive Stetson collection up with an erection. Did you wear your extensive Stetson collection to the insurrection? You know, stuff like that. Mm. That was one of those early ones that caught on in sort of like a, just a comment sort of way. Yeah. It's very much an uh, early style thing for yeah. my mind. And it's funny because they don't see Grant, so he could be wearing whatever we say he's wearing. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, for sure. Like right now, he's in, oh God. <laughs> yeah, I don't, actually, I don't think I can say that. It's an all leather leotard. Yeah, but <laughs> it's steaming as if he was like just jogged and now he walked outside. Like all this <laughs> Around him is like wavy, like it's in the yeah. desert. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's odd. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Big Sean though. Yeah, it's gotta be. Sad to see the extensive Stetson collection go. It's yeah. Funny to say it. I'd like to say it again. So extensive Stetson collection. For a while there, I had an infection, and the only cure was an extensive Stetson collection. Now we got Love Me to Granky. <laughs> Love Me to Granky is going. So pig. Three, two, one. I put the ride by Lil Yachty. I put Love Me to Granky off the new Weed <laughs> album. Is that a track? <laughs> Love me to cranky, the cranky. Love me to cranky. It's on the screen. No, that's not a real song. Oh. This is a We Saw the Sun by Lil Yachty. Uh, just a guess. The most shelf life on a guess. Uh, like that, that yep. is on like Twitter. Like you can look up yep. so many people say Love me to cranky. <laughs> it's like under Yeats comment yeah. sections. Yep. It's in our subreddit content <laughs> usernames. Just like a dumb guess list. I'm not knowing much about Yeet. Turned into like a actual catchphrase but for it's a lot close, of people. It's very close to what he actually says. I mean, it's made up of his language. It's an informed, <laughs> it's an informed bad guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love it. I yeah. think it's fantastic. But and I, like I don't think Whistle is going to be better than that. Changing. Learning. Evoluting. <laughs> Morphosis. Mm. No. Transformation. Mm. Watch as the caterpillar enters its cocoon. It will be in its cocoon for months. <laughs> months? Alone. Yes, months. months. It will be inside the cocoon for months. It builds a home out of string, and it keeps itself <laughs> safe from predators who think that it is a little rock or something hanging from a tree, something not, some not so good to eat. It doesn't look Yo. appetizing to predators, and soon it will break. Crack, crack. <laughs> and we see a little, what do they call uh, the arms moth. of a butterfly? What do yeah. they call the arms of a butterfly? A uh, little bag. That's <laughs> little like an feet. antenna, but it's yeah. not. Um, uh, finally, we see the limbs of the butterfly break. <laughs> soon it will emerge. Its beautiful wings spread like a tapestry, <laughs> contributing to the beauty of nature yes. and the wonder of autumn. Is that this sounds like a Spongebob time card that's been going on way too long. It's autumn, probably? I don't know. I don't know what happens. You don't know shit about I don't, know I don't know, but I like it. You know, maybe yeah. it could be. Um, and to think, only months ago, it was a little <laughs> slimy worm. And yeah. soon, the worm has become a, almost a bird. It's <laughs> 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 Nature is so beautiful. Why were your eyes closed? We learned so much. I don't know. I'm imagining it. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> it's a beautiful orchestra, a beautiful <laughs> symphony that, uh, it's a beautiful symphony, nature, and we are on the sides clapping quietly. I can't wait for the bits bracket. Bits bracket? Like, oh my god, it's gonna be great. And it's gonna happen. It has to. The butterfly, as the butterfly plays, uh, plays a beautiful oboe, <laughs> oboe <laughs> solo. <laughs> the oboe solo of the butterfly as it flies through the air and pollinates the f flowers. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for teaching us that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk. That was an iconic role. Is his name Keanu Reeves in that game as well? No, it's like Johnny Sins or something. Like that. <laughs> Johnny Sins is someone else. Really? That is someone else, yeah. Really? It's Johnny something. Big old whistle on that guy. <laughs> Keanu is known for his whistle. No, Johnny uh, Sins. He's whistle. a whistle man. Yeah. A whistle pig. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Get the whistle pig in here. He <laughs> was a porn director and the scene's like not going well enough. Cut! Bring in the whistle pit! <laughs> in chains. <laughs> 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 Johnny I think Whistle Pig is funnier, but Love Me to Grinky is like. I think that one's just gonna age better, you know? 
beast they keep in the basement. <laughs> Fuck. It's like a male fluffer. Yeah. Because we were talking about how a whistle is a great thing to call a cock. Yeah. yeah. It's just the, the visual. Whistle, whistle uh, this guy's the whistle pig. <laughs> got a huge whistle. Yeah. This one's kind of close for me. It is. It's just about what you like. Yeah. I mean, I like the visual of Johnny Sins being wheeled into a room as some sort of like hunchback of Notre Dame. Real. Hunchback? <laughs> He's <laughs> Gargolian or something. Gargolian? What yeah. the hell? Are these any of <laughs> words? Some beast of the night. Yeah. Yo. I like that more. You know, I think I'm going to go with Lummy to Grant. Yeah. I just feel like just because it's one tiny moment, just yep. all that it created, that's kind of like something that deserves credit. It's more iconic, a little bit. Break, break the tie. I will take love me to Granky. All right, okay. that's fine with me, Doctor. Now we got manifying objects versus <laughs> Raiden's bully energy. Of course. I think about manifying objects a lot. This one's a good one. Never okay to objectify women. Right. But it's always okay to womanify objects. Like a lamp? Go, oh, she is awesome. Or a boat, <laughs> classically. You know? Oh, shit, look, look, look at her. Look at her. She's <laughs> a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done right by me, But brother. literally anything. Like, it could be a dress, a card, a painting. Anything could be a she. You just like, yep. we manify him, though, too. Look at this little fella right here. Oh, no. look at this guy. That's <sighs> a, No, people say <laughs> things all the time. Like? Toss me that guy. That that dude. Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah, they do. <laughs> if you're digging through your couch cushions looking for the remote, you're going, where is she? No. <laughs> yes, you are. No, you could, just, you could say, ah, oh, there he goes. And you, <laughs> there he goes. You're forcing this. <laughs> no, you're no. forcing this super. Oh, no. no, you wouldn't. Or like another beer at a bar. I'd say, give me another little guy. No, you just say. I wouldn't say. You'd say, give me another one. And they'd say, sir, you've already had 16. I can't. <laughs> say, no, 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 give guy. me that. Give me that or I'm going to kill you. Or give me a cold boy. Cold one. No, cold boys. I, you've never said that. <laughs> I hang cold out with boys. you all the time. You never <laughs> said something like that. Guys, I just picked up a nice 24 rack of little boys. Listen, and I'm gonna play. <laughs> I hate to expose you this way, but you are way more likely to say, pick up a six pack of them bitches. <laughs> Listen, not like that, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, you're like, oh, that bitch is nice. That's what you'll say, like a slice of fish. I would also say, real. that boy's slapping. You don't say that. You're just making that part up. To right, sir, part you know, say, Mr. Food coming in. <laughs> President Cheeseburger just like Yo. Presidents can be women too, just not yet. Yeah, well, probably never too. <laughs> Just saying, it's a, it's a, the whole country votes. I would vote for a woman, and I did once. <laughs> the country as a whole, we'll have a gay Chinese president. <laughs> yeah, like, I forgot this, this is the same bitch. It's just the truth. Right, so another thing I call a beer. Give me a glass of truth. <laughs> To all week. <laughs> Give me a glass of truth. Uh, that, that one got so it many already. Many. That's a good punchline at the end. I feel like it's <laughs> awesome that neither of us have very good examples for anything yeah. we're talking about. In this, like, like there is an argument to be made, yeah. but we're like on the fly trying to have this argument. Neither of us bring anything good to the table. And then we just get into absurdity. Mr. Food. <laughs> Mr. Food and <laughs> President Cheeseburger. <laughs> and then it turns into we'll have a gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Which I still stand on. Yeah, true. Also one true. He's not lying. Tends to happen. He's not, which is unfortunate. I had this idea in my phone and was like trying to develop it. And I was like, oh, I'll just like bring the premise to the show, thinking it would go one way. And then you just take it somewhere completely different. <laughs> We're both actually arguing. That's what keeps it going. Yeah, so this is an like argument. A genuine argument. Yeah, this would happen in your house. <laughs> yeah. Like we'd be chilling, watching football, and then we get in an argument. <laughs> and there's other people there, but there are two people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares. I was obsessed with dinos, though. Wrote stories about them. I would buy little figurines of them and, like, line them up like they were going to fight. Anybody out there who was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid, you'd get one of those bricks that you would take little archaeology tools and break open and there'd be bones inside of them and they smelled mm. like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I told you, you got to suppress your bully energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? It's, it's not coming out as a full word. I think it's cool that you were so curious. Yes, thank you. As a young boy about prehistoric life. Yes, thank you. Nerd. 
<laughs> it's close. Yeah. You're getting there. And I like the progress. I appreciate that. Loser. <laughs> you were probably a cool kid. Pips quick. <laughs> that, that beast trying to get yeah. out. Yeah. You were a bull. Manifying got it, but that one's good. Like you just can't not let it out. I love that it like seeps into the other words you're saying. Yeah. Like you're curious. Yes. 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 <laughs> teeming. It's right there. There's no manifying objects out. No. Like, it's not. The truth. I mean, and yeah. I definitely meant in that bit that another thing I'd call a beer would be a gay Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Give me a glass of truth. And I was like, oh, I guess that is funny. <laughs> that's yeah. what you meant to. That's why I tried to do the bait and switch. Take it, away too, real. take it away from that. And then I, I thought of in my head, I was like, I've been lied to all week. Yeah. <laughs> I've been lied to all week. Which is a beer by Rheingeist. Yeah, it is. Mm. That's true. Cincinnati Brewery. Now we got Mr. Witherspoon's music versus West Side Gecker. This is like a freaky <laughs> art teacher. You find out they make music and like you're showing your class this. You're yeah. Like, this it's the Mr. same song. Witherspoon's music. He's messed up. The video is like a live thing of him playing piano and like a leather jacket. And he's like losing his mind. <laughs> and he's like wiping tears off his face in a suit. And he's like, get out of your sketchbooks. <laughs> All right, Witherspoon, we know you're an artist. Express yourself. Yeah. Just like you're trying to teach us. Yeah, the progressive kids of now are, yeah. are like, dude, we love it. Yeah. Even if it's not successful, man, like yeah. you should make art. That's not what art's for, man. Don't fall into the capitalist system. And think that art should only be incentivized by money, man. Like, we love that you're doing it. The troubled kid stands up in the back and is like, Mr. Ritherspoon, you told me on day one of class that I have the autonomy to create original pieces of art that only I can make. And now I want to say those words to you. And he's like, thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the same voice yeah. as the kid? Thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> and Tommy Flash is like, I have a confession to make. I also make music. Here's my song. <laughs> He's in front of the entire class. Yo. It's like the same song. It's like the same, no, setup. It's the same song. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the captain of the football team. <laughs> in his hand. I make music too. I got, I got a confession too. I'm not just some dumb jock. I make music too. And it's like, every time someone confesses that they make music, it's the same song, but it starts like a half second later and they all start playing at the same time. It's like a confusing cacophony of sounds. And every single one is the same video setup, but it's the person. <laughs> You know, like, like in a leather jacket, like blah blah blah. The vi same video keeps playing. The principal walks in. What the hell is going on in here, <laughs> Principal Johnson? We're just talking about how everybody has the autonomy to create art that only they can make, and about how money shouldn't incentivize those things. And then Principal Johnson's like, "I have a confession to make." Takes <laughs> off his blazer. The leather jacket's on underneath. <laughs> music too. Never gonna start again. And we call the movie <laughs> High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that one's awesome. Just it is. it all on the fly. We were so pleased with ourselves. It's just like a writer's room conversation. Yeah. yeah. Like building it. Yeah. And that's the one that I'm like, I want to make that. Yeah. <laughs> I want that to be a real thing. Like I want it should to direct be. it and make it. It would be such a funny little sketch. <laughs> it's like funnier that way than it is like an actual bit. Yeah. Usually we're the yeah. characters in the bit. This right. time we're like, and then this happens. Yeah. <laughs> saying how the bit would go. It's an all-timer for me. I love that one. Yeah, that one's a banger. Witherspoon is crazy. That's not a name. Tommy Flat. <laughs> Witherspoon. Shout out to the person who made an animation of that too. Yeah. Somebody made an animation. Yo, I recently discovered Hive Mind Animated, and oh my god, I love that channel. It's great. Awesome. I'm like, yeah, they don't know I 
Honey, Yo. Awesome. Get oh. him on the channel. That, that, that was so Bring good. Bring him on here. Great bars in there. He invented the question mark. <laughs> if Wahlberg was president, you'd know that I'd question mark. <laughs> <laughs> also, I get a buzz off a light beer. Yeah. It's so funny. Let me just say, Gecker. You don't want any part in this war. Yeah. Mm. You understand what it's like right now. You'll go down mm. flames. Yeah, yeah. Down in flames. I mean, they just don't let you do stuff like that anymore. No. Nope. They'll tell you to suck their dicks if you do stuff like that. Yeah. If you try to be lighthearted and have fun with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> <that's what happens. laughs> Yo, bro, I swear, because I was on Instagram this day. The day I literally saw this comment like four minutes after it happened. I swear, bro. Hold on. Bruh. Okay, so I thought I had the screenshot of like the time, but it was just the fact that he saw it because that's all I really needed. But bro, this was hilarious because I was just like, this is such a great bit. And then I saw he was in the likes and then I clicked the comments. It's like fresh comments. Yeah, just responded to someone too. And it like, bro, hilarious. But hey, man. Will tell you to suck their dick. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. And honestly, yeah. that's the last fucking thing I want to do. I'm not doing that. I'm not. <laughs> I don't even like hearing it. I don't like hearing that sort of thing either. That's got me a little fucked up, but. Yeah. And I don't want. Yeah, listen, I'm. This is me, like, I'm kind of soccer momming you right now. Okay, Gecker? You're in the passenger seat, and I'm, hey. Mm. We're not in an accident. Yeah. I'm holding you back. I want to bet you don't you don't want any part of this. Yeah, yeah you might be real. told to suck their dicks. Yeah, you might. <laughs> and I don't want I don't wish that upon you. No. And also, yes, I misunderstood the bar in there. It was if Wahlberg was pressing me, not present. Mm. But it's hard to hear in the room. Real, yeah. Who gives a shit? Mr. Ritherspoon's music. Yeah. Krill. You wanna read this one? <laughs> 999 Cunt and Drake's Shower. <laughs> Drake Shower. Did you want me to do it with an accent or something? No, it's all right. All right. My <laughs> debut EP is titled 12 with a Future. B, I am a Leo. And C, I have Justin Bieber's phone number. I sure hope so. They look alike. <laughs> he exaggerates his accent for, for interviews. Oi, mate. <laughs> nine, 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 cunt. <laughs> 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 I have to keep that in. Holy <laughs> shit. Back then, I was worried about keeping that in. Yeah. Yo. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. No might make it off the edit. God, the show has gotten so dark. <laughs> yeah. It sure has. It's really gone off the rails, I think. Yeah. Season four is my favorite. Told to suck dick. <laughs> Season five is going good so far, though. Why? I said dick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know who has this. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, now I like it clicked. I don't like remember. I think I watched this yesterday. Or anything. <laughs> I don't remember being in it myself. <laughs> I've never been in this shower. <laughs> Alright, Drake? Drake! It is Drake! Oh, cool! Oh, nice! Yeah, we've never been in there. No, I haven't been in there. No, no way. way. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures like this in here. Uh, the picture is awesome. Yeah, the yeah. picture and just the. I think Drake Shower is funnier. Awesome. <laughs> I like that better than Me the too. 999. I yeah. feel like yeah. 999, it's just like a real tame version of stuff we would do now. Yep. Yeah. Feels lame. Feels like it doesn't push any boundaries. At all, like man. Fuck. Now it's held back. Versus sponsored by Harry Styles. I'm going to post a memoriam post for you. Like before. Yeah. Before. I'm just going to post it and then delete it like 20 minutes later. You're like, oops, found him. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, bro. That literally made me burp. I'm crying. I thought I looked at him. <laughs> Maybe like our best short bit. Yeah. yeah. Like it's so short. Oops, found him. Because <laughs> the concept of that is so good. With social media, just yeah. like you lose your friend for 10 minutes and you're like, wow, he was a great guy. <laughs> right out of eulogy. Yeah. And I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsor, Harry Styles. <laughs> Without you, Harry, none of this would be possible. Harry Styles sponsored this video? Yes. I didn't know that. Say thank you to Harry. Thank you, Harry. What was less, that? Where did that voice come from? <laughs> <laughs> My voice is weird. might work with him someday. <laughs> oh, start off on the wrong foot. Right. Start off on a cold foot. Um, <laughs> talking points so w callback. Harry? Yes. They're right there on the prompt. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Harry Styles, not only are you a talented musician, but your first foray into acting was a marvelous success and bewildered the youth? Correct. Bewildered the youth. Yep. It's, I, I don't... 
It's an odd. odd wording, but yeah, okay. And if, <laughs> oh God, so, say it. It's so small. Just say it. Okay. And I know one thing. If Harry Styles is sponsoring the video, it can only go one direction. Okay. <laughs> Great. God, I can't the, believe he put that in there. Yeah, now the call weird. to action. The call to action. Okay. That cannot be right. It is. Just oh, say it. All right. We're getting paid a lot for this one. Okay. <laughs> here we go. go to verizonwireless.com and use code Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. Where, why shouldn't we be the code? Why yeah. is he the code? <laughs> He's the code. Usually the code's about our channel. It's I like know. for our. Okay. I requested that. It Whatever. Was Harry use Styles. code Harry Styles for a hundred percent off a new iPhone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you sure this is the real Harry Styles? Where'd you get this inquiry? Email. Email. Yeah. Mm. It's from like the official Harry team. Or? It said Harry's team. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I trust it. Yeah, me too. Yikes. I love his music. Where did I get that crooked hat? Yeah. <laughs> My hat is so crooked. I look yeah. like a doofus. <laughs> I get ass for being sounding too weird. <laughs> Think you hear anything? Go, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, I'm like worried about it being flirtatious. And I'm like, where'd that voice even come from? <laughs> like that. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> gold, though. Yeah, I have to go uh, with this Yeah. Not sponsored by, a fake sponsorship is always good. It, it is. is. <laughs> All right, now we got Is This a Bad Guy versus Bulgaria? Yeah. You know this one? Yes. Oh, man. You're going to really pull ahead here. I should have watched this two days ago. See, I'm looking at it, and I see the mustache now as, like, the hair on the top of someone's head. Because of that gap between the upper lip, right. you could fit eyes in there. I see in there. You'd have, like, a little Vietnamese man or something. <laughs> it's not the it's not the Yo, no, no. I... I'm almost done editing my Detroit Become Human gameplay, and on episode eight, I almost put in a Family Guy cutaway, the the scoreboard one. But like, oh man, I just I'm I'm not hive mind, bro. I don't think I could get away with stuff like that yet. Bad guy. <laughs> and I'm not trying to get hit with a copy strike of death. <laughs> Nothing. This is just this is amazing, <laughs> amazing stuff. I'm so glad you don't know. It's not a bad guy. <laughs> just right, just <laughs> down a little guess, and we'll get it over with. Bad for our <laughs> sins. Three, two, one. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, Luther Vandross. <laughs> <laughs> so close, but Why so far. The wrong Luther. <laughs> Luther Vandross for Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> a bad guy. <laughs> Yo. You think cheating on your wife is wrong. <laughs> Oh, oh man. <sighs> he did do that. Proud as man I am. <laughs> Little Vietnamese man. <laughs> The time. Not Stop. the time. Oh, that is just one of the best mishaps that could possibly yep. happen. Total happenstance. Wow. And the fact, yeah, the Luther thing. Just yeah. everything just worked. Yeah. I don't know if you think cheating on your wife. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. You know what I'm saying? What what countries did you guys choose to represent for the Olympics? Uh, oh, we didn't. We just called it Audio Olympics because it's like many different like events, what? I guess. Yeah. We didn't represent any countries. We're just representing Real. Hive Mind, I guess. Shout out to Libya. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be representing for the great country of Bulgaria. Red, white, green. Birth rate, mm. 1.56 births per woman. Ranked 20th uh, in internet speed. 20th in the world, okay. actually. <laughs> that's good, I guess, um, I guess that sounds good. There's nine uh, UNESCO heritage sites there too. Who figures out the birth rate per woman? That's a, <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. It is. 2.4% circumcised, which is low. That, I guess, what's <laughs> the guess? Like 90 something, Bullsh. probably. Bullsh. Well, no, it can't be. There's almost 50% women here. I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, all right, Bulgaria it is. And me and Riley will represent the great nation of hive mind. Yes. All right. Second question has been asked. Uh, <laughs> normally, I would do a bar of the day, right? I have some great bars prepared. Yeah. So here, here goes nothing, I guess. So you're going to do one. You said normally I would do one. <laughs> I said, so here goes nothing. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. Gorda stara planina. Donne duna vasine. I feel like I should be standing for this. Tronce trachia o griva nad pinira plamene. Nice. That's the Bulgarian national anthem? That's correct. Okay. That's fire.
It is. I <laughs> heard Tiesto remix that. Yeah. Bars of the day, but I mean, hey, whatever. There is a lot of bars there. They're talking about the great mountains ah. of Bulgaria. All right, well, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's a mind-blowing performance. It is. It really was. Learned a lot. It was annoying. I gotta go bad guy. You weren't even there. It was annoying to watch. I hated that episode. Really? Yeah. That was a good episode. Especially you. It was me. That yeah. was the problem. Although you were part mm. of the problem. It's the chemistry between the three of you. Mm. Super annoying. I feel like it's a good episode. I don't know. A lot of people really like it. Yeah. Know, it was episode. good. Yeah. I hate Bulgaria. What do you hate about Bulgaria? Uh, never been. Country. Never will. <laughs> on that one, though. Uh, yeah. Kwadeka actually ended up performing the Bulgarian national anthem on his tour. Yeah. Wow. Pretty uh, unbelievable. It is. It's that so is very unbelievable. It's not as funny as is he a bad guy, though? Yes. It's not. But my case for Bulgaria it's not. is just that it took preparation and was executed perfectly. Yeah. Fair. Although it doesn't get as like as many laughs, I really appreciate as an artist, as a thespian, mm. what Benjamin Lasky was able to do on Real. that stage. And that stage. Drop them in the stage. comments. So I'm gonna go Bulgaria. Break the tie, Grant. I'm gonna take, is this a bad guy? Makes sense, but I don't know. Have fun in hell, Ben. Which is up there, by the way. Yes. The buckleberries. Mm. Yeah. Now we got Riley's <laughs> audition versus coach that breaks down your confidence. I think he'd be a great actor. Do you really think so? Or are you just... <laughs> I don't remember the last time somebody looked me in the eye and told me just one true thing. One honest thing. Everywhere I go, I see lies and deception. I see right through it. Even if it was an insult. I'd rather have a true, honest insult. Awesome, Riley. If we're interested, we'll give you a call back. Um, thanks for coming in. Should I have cried? I can't say that, but that's Martin fucking Scorsese. And yeah. You think I should have cried? That's Martin fucking Scorsese. <laughs> No, we don't have time for another read. It's not even. Next, it's not about please. the read. It's a, it's just about like I'm trying to get a read on the character. Security. Me, I got Simon, <laughs> I got Jaden for sure. But he's too manly for the emo. I don't know. I mean, if you want me to cry, I can give it a quick cry real quick. We got a lot of other people in the waiting room. Um, we got to get to them again. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're looking in a different direction for this role. Really? I mean, yeah. a lot of people out there. I mean. I don't mean to be brash or anything, but they were basically like fugly versions of me. <laughs> we'll give you a call back. If I'm just we're saying they looked a lot like me, but like not. Yep. I mean, you're not going to get this. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Talk to your agent. Maybe something else will open up in the film. Right. I just talked. I mean, I've yeah. talked to a lot. I did a lot of chitter chatter out there. I did not get a lot of charisma out of these dudes. I really think Yo. I'm kind of the best you're working with. Again, we really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll I'm be gonna, in touch. I'm going to filibuster. Yeah, I think I'm going to filibuster. So uh, <laughs> I really, really think you're funny in this movie. And honestly, I think this is what the character would do. It's not even really just me as an actor in here being like demanding this role. I'm saying I'm still in character and I think the character would demand the role. A lot of conviction on the character. Yeah. So I think I'm, I'm not going to take no for an answer. This character was supposed to be a bum who gets brutally shot and murdered in an alleyway. You didn't even have yes. ice. And you came in here and monologued for 25 minutes, and now you're filibustering us? <laughs> somebody, I think you're going to want me in the role, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's somebody in the alley. Uh-oh. I hope this doesn't go south. I would sure love to die in a bleeding out in an alley. Oh, is that a knife? Watch out. Uh-oh. I'm thinking stuff like that. You know, am I getting closer to the character for you? What are we doing? <laughs> so I'll show up to set on Wednesday then, huh? We will not be seeing you Wednesday, but I will be in touch if anything comes up. Stay home Wednesday, please. <laughs> if you are on the set, you will be trespassing and arrested. Let me talk to Scorsese. No. I mean, I think I'm speaking his language, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wake up, Martin. Come on. I'm this, I'm, I'm your jackpot. I'm your golden goose. Get me like, <laughs> yeah? Don't wake Martin up. A different accent? You think you're you're gonna need to go. Should it be a different yeah. accent? I think I, I see what you're. I read it all over your face. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll be damned if I'm not put straight in this movie. I really think I am the cream of the crop. I am the best actor out in that lobby, and I'm the best damn actor Scorsese ever gonna lay eyes upon. Why are we holding auditions for this role again, Mr. Savage? It's not a speaking role. We wanted you to come in here, lay down, and take these fake bullets like a boss, <laughs> bumpkin kind of thing. I appreciate the versatility, sure. Well, I mean, there's always wiggle room, you know. I mean, it could be like a spot for me. Like, yeah, it's a non-speaking role, like in the script. But I think if I'm able to kind of flip the character just a little bit, I'm manipulating the, the way that I do. You know, maybe I, I squeak out a line or two, and then it kind of grows from there. Like, I think uh, I think about the character as a more fluid character. Yeah. You know, you know, your persistence might have actually <laughs> paid off. We do need a stunt double for a scene where Brad Pitt shrinks himself down and explores the cloaca of a seagull. Is that something mm. you'd be interested in? <laughs> You're telling me you need me to be a mini Brad Pitt and go inside a bird's ass? Yeah. Is that role still? Yeah. That role's still open. <laughs>
You're not gonna regret this. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Long. Long. Very. But it's good. We stay in it. It is. I, yeah, we stayed in it the whole time. Yep. You were a great casting director. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. 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 And I was a great all those characters. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Real. Just desperation. Ah. <laughs> desperate. We have conviction. Yeah. Mm. And that's still what I kind of bring to the table. Every audition I've done, I will Real. not leave the room until they put me in the movie. So. <laughs> it works, yeah. man. Yeah. I've six movies so far. Nice. I wow. Think I don't know. No, at least they said you were. I was, they filmed stuff. I don't know. A lot of movies are so dark nowadays. I go see them and I'm not sure if I'm in them. I might yeah. be. You know? Real. And I like to beat the traffic, so I, I leave before credits. Yeah, you sure don't want to get stuck in traffic. Real. So I don't know yeah. if I'm in the credits or whatever, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I have a uh, burgeoning <laughs> film career. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, it is tough getting in that room, seeing all those people who look like you. You know, it will, uh, it will shatter you a bit, shatter your image of yourself, but uh, do it Fair. all for the art. So. Proud of you, man. Right on. Thank you, sir. Let's see the coach. Coach, please. Show me the coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they used to say. Glue hands. Oh, glue hands, get out there. Hey, glue hands, get out there. <laughs> get out there and catch that ball. That's all you're good for. <laughs> that's a coach. That's a coach who compliments them on their playing, but is really trying to break down their confidence in all other aspects of life. You better get out there and catch that ball. Lord knows you can't save your marriage. <laughs> get out there and sling that thing. God knows you suck at math. <laughs> that's a coaching strategy. It's old school. Yeah, it's old but it school. works. Yeah. Definitely. Pivot foot, Bobby. Lord knows you can't do Texas. <laughs> <laughs> God knows you can't play guitar or sing. <laughs> Dignan, get out there. You're terrible at money management. <laughs> hey, I thought you were doing a bit. It is a bit. Cosgrove, take it to the rim. Lord knows you can't sing or dance. Cosgrove. Uh, yeah. Cosgrove. <laughs> Must have been what he was thinking of. That one's good, but it's like we've done versions of that. Yeah, movie. I feel like. Exactly, like the back and forth. I feel like the, the Sweeney one was low key better. There's like a better version of that, of like a similar character. Isn't perfect there? Like I say, play guitar or sing, and then he says, sing or dance. Yeah. We like kind of are on top of each other a little bit yeah. on that one. I think my audition is better. Yeah, audition's better. It's, yeah, it's not funny, but it's impressive. It's fucking hilarious. It's impressive. It's a Real. buster of a joke, honestly. There's no joke there, but yeah. yeah. Next we got, gun to your head, you gotta get a tattoo <laughs> today, versus do you identify with Jamie? I don't, which I don't know what <laughs> Gun to your head, you have to get a tattoo today. What are you gonna get? Um, I Knife to your throat right now. <laughs> you gotta get a tattoo, what are you getting? Okay, a I- Guillotine on your neck, I'm holding the rope. What you getting inked on you forever? Okay, if CO2 leak in your Airbnb. Are you- Bomb in your car. I, I think I- Yo. Mid-air about to impale you in the chest. <laughs> what tattoo you gotta get? Is this about- a Poison in your coffee, kid. Michael Myers is a flamethrower and he's at your front door and he's, you gotta get a tattoo, what you gonna get? I think I get- <laughs> You're seated on the electric chair. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> You're tied to two semis. They're gonna drive opposite directions. You gotta get tattooed right now. What is it gonna be? Would it even matter at that point? Blackout. <laughs> I'll give you a bunch of like, form right down your throat. A bunch of pills. What tattoo you getting? Tattoo of the person who did it. And get arrested. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a smart ass idea. It is. That's Holy cool shit, that's like Brad. solving a, it's like a cold case file sort of vibe, like a yeah. memento cold case Real. files combo. It's a good answer, Brad. Good yeah, answer. good answer, man. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Show me tattoo of the person who's about to kill Brad. <laughs> Top answer. Michael Myers at your front door with a flamethrower. Right? <laughs> yeah. One thing is like gun to your head, but I love CO2 leak in your Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> It's not it's really the same like, type of threat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's like, like an intentional <laughs> killing. <Yeah. laughs> And Brad's disposition is so good. He's yeah. such a good, like, actor in moments. Yeah. Would it even matter at that point? <laughs> he's uh, stone cold. Yeah, he's stone cold. That was great. Yeah, and that was one that I, I came up with the idea for ahead of time, and we kind of, like, schemed out, because, like, I have to, to be able to do that one, we have to, like, go at him, not let him answer. Yeah. And so Real. that was, like, kind of pre-planned. Grant, the when, you watch, when you watch Joe Rogan, like, do you, do you think about Jamie, and you're like, damn, I gotta get to that level? <laughs> <laughs> Do you identify with Jamie? <laughs> no. Wow. Silence. <laughs> this dude is laughing at the whole room of mine. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah, he doesn't like what he brings with Jamie. <laughs> he's in a really touchy spot there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he looks in the mirror and he's like, are you just Jamie? <laughs> you don't even have your own personality? You're just like Jamie. You're behind the camera. Sometimes you laugh. You look stuff up for people. Yo. <laughs> 
that's funny. <laughs> no, that's funny. That's not serious. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's a little a nice little moment. Yeah, tattooing Brad though and killing him in a bunch of different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah tattoo cool. got it. Wins here. All right, now we got testing the murky dark waters of comedy <laughs> versus floating rack. <laughs> oh, this is a tough matchup. Yeah. What the hell is hand, foot, and mouth disease? You ever heard of that with yeah. babies? Yeah, hand, mouth, foot, and mouth yeah. disease. Yeah, isn't it? It's just like a bacterial infection, I believe. It's like warts or something. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. If my kid gets that, you're gonna kill yourself if your kid gets sick? No. <laughs> oh. Kill my wife. <laughs> In an elaborate way, then. I'll never catch you. Yeah, yeah, I'll maintain my yeah. freedom. Yeah. Yo. Actually, I mean, the biggest trick I could do is convince her to kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin the marriage, pretend to abuse the kid, get the kid roped in on it. <laughs> do it when mommy's gone. <laughs> You want rules, don't you? There's any rules around here. Aren't you Yo. These rules in this, house? this is literally like insidious. To <laughs> I know. I'm not going to actually do it either, man. I was just testing the murky, dark waters of comedy, pushing boundaries. <laughs> I'm going to marry a congressman and convince her to kill herself. <laughs> until my militia of well trained primates can raid the White House and lower interest rates this time. When I train them, they'll lower the rates. Yo. Convince a congressman. Congresswoman. <laughs> Marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. Easier <laughs> <laughs> done than said. Some people say that. <laughs> Anybody yeah. can do that. But to say it, now that takes gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder that this is Dignan. Yeah. Oh says, man, yep. It's Dignan that says that. Yeah. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny. That's edgy, man. Yeah. It is. That is edgy. That's kind of like, I think that's where we kind of started. Like, I think that moment really uh, Shifted. set the tone. Yep. Yeah, it set the tone for where we were going to go. What? No, Big Bazonga Hongas? There's nothing, there's nothing, nothing wrong disgusting with those. about no, Bahamba Chumbies. No. <laughs> just for some reason, the fact that you like like picturing other girls with boobs. I'm not other girls with boobs. Like when I when we say <laughs> things like crankle anchors or <laughs> drappies, in my mind it is literally a black background <laughs> from the foreground, <laughs> and it is just that. Yeah. No but head, no torso. Nothing. nothing. It is a, <laughs> and the edges of it, I'm describing it to you just as I'm seeing it. Just a blurry edge around it. Mm. It's kind of like this. And then it's just boobies. <laughs> <laughs> but kind whose of, are they, Graydon? I don't know. Who the fuck <laughs> is that? It's <laughs> 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 What the hell? Cramba Drambos. I don't know. <laughs> they just come floating to me. I see them. Yo. I see you picturing her again. Don't call I'm going to find her family and I'm oh. going to tell them what's been going on. Oh, yeah. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Stop it. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw up. I'm like, going to be sick, actually. <laughs> what are you plucking your nose for? They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkling. Oh, man. This is the hardest one in a while. I, I don't know. Yeah, there's a Crambo Drambos. I mean, yeah. no. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Editing on that one, I love too, because like there's certain shakes and yeah. shit that yeah. goes with the thing. It's so funny. That one's more laugh out loud funny, but the complexity of the murky dark waters of comedy, I feel like kind of takes it. Yeah, I think Real. I take that one. Yeah. It's like really close though, because floating really rack close. is so funny. Yeah, we're leaning edgy. There's some edgy about us calling them Bahamba Chumbies and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Like, Why do you have to plug your nose? They're huge. You. <laughs> no. Bro, literally my jaw hurts from laughing. Rotating like cast literally. 15 characters versus putting down your dog with <laughs> HIV. <laughs> oh. I read half. Halfway through that, and then realized. Oh, dog aids. I don't like that. Oh, oh man, it's a joke, buddy. Does anybody ever tell you that that you've lost the plot? Lost the plot. Jump the shark. Eat the fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a crazy kid. People say crazy shit to me all day. <laughs> Just like you think you nailed it? I didn't nail People it. People say I'm all sorts saying. of crazy shit to me. I mean, yeah, but gumball pizza, <laughs> smack salad. Someone said that to me right as I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this now. Somebody said smack salad. <laughs> it's the first thing I. Is heard. it like the drug smack in a salad, or is it like I smack know, a salad? I didn't. Have, I had to brush my teeth and shit. I didn't even bother like following up on it. <laughs> Yo, That's my baby alarm. <laughs> 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 
sorry. Who said smack salad to you? There's a lot of people crashing in my place this week. Over 15, but it's a rotating cast of characters. People say weird stuff to you doesn't explain why you kind of lost the plot. Like, it doesn't feel like you know where you're going. You'd be confused, too, if people said smack salad to you the second you woke up. I feel like you're setting yourself up for people to say weird things to you. Rotating cast of 15 plus characters crashing at your house in one week. It was a good deal, man. What do you mean a good deal? <laughs> People couldn't even get more than four. I got 15. <laughs> <laughs> a good deal, like, a good deal on the cast of characters. Are you making money on this? No, what? Well, then what do you mean a good deal? I got 15. Yo. How many people do you have sleep at your house tonight? Zero. Boom. I couldn't pass it up. Someone said there's a rotating traveling cast of 15 plus characters coming through town and they need a place to sleep. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be the first one to see it. And I got him. I feel like that's, nobody's like shooting for the high score of people staying <laughs> at their place. That's like you're jealous. Just say it, man. I'm not jealous. I mean, you'll never have that many people stay at your place. I hope so. That's way too many. If you want to meet some of the characters, you can come by tonight, but you can't crash. I'm out of room. Seems like somebody doesn't want to break the high score. You got 15, and now you're scared of 16. The high score yeah. is 34. My neighbor Mark is it. You can meet him though. Some of them are pretty nice. Some of them are fucked up. It's like you're <laughs> letting life just wash over you right now. <laughs> It's stuff. like a wave that's hitting you, and you don't know what to do. You're just gonna you wouldn't away. either, man. If all this stuff was getting thrown at you. It's not getting thrown at you. You are beckoning it. <laughs> the tide is rising. Technically, <laughs> that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> the tide is rising on my life. Whatever. We gotta guess this emo jam. I already guessed. Okay. Technically. <laughs> You want to come over and watch freak stuff with me and my dudes later and the other characters. You let me know. And you know what? I don't care if any of the characters are gay or asexual or whatever. It's a rotating cast of characters standing at your house for a couple weeks. Right. Thanks. 15 plus of them. I don't even know if I'm going to meet some of them. I think you will. No, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to meet all of them. You know, there's some of them that I won't meet. And if I don't meet the gay <laughs> or asexual ones, that's fine. There's one of them a Barack Obama impersonator. He's pretty bad at it. I don't judge sexuality, but I do not want to meet that person. <laughs> <laughs> It's bad. Yikes. <laughs> the rotating cast of characters, you know, it's, 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 like, it's roulette. You know? yeah, I was hoping more for like trapeze artists, jugglers. Right, I was mm. interested in that already. It's yeah. Not, oh, no, no. It's, not. it's just kind of like random people. Yeah. One of them's got one eye. Only one of them? <laughs> <laughs> one, one eye. You've never seen a group like this before. Yo. Why are they together? <laughs> Who assembled like they're not, this? Like doing a show. <laughs> like they're not doing like an event or like group of misfits. To be in my house. Granted, it is a good deal for me. It's <laughs> not like why do they? <laughs> it's, do? it's a deal. <laughs> it's a steal. I don't get it's <laughs> three yeah. in the basketball team. I don't know what they're doing, man. I will get to the bottom of it though. I promise you that. From a musical angle or standpoint, it's an undeniably good album. Can I steal that cassette for a week or two? Yeah. No problem. Sweet. Let one of the guys borrow it right now, but whatever. I don't want to hear about the cast of characters. Anymore. It's hard to forget about, man. It is hard to forget about. That's kind of all I can think about. <laughs> this is people. I want to know, like, the gender breakdown. Right. I want to know. Me too. Actually, I... you know what? <laughs> me too. Make a difference to me. Yeah. You know what? No. Wow. Oh, my Yo. God. Yo. See, this is what I mean. You are influenced by Dignan, because this is some Dignan ass shit. What do you mean? It's some Dignan ass shit. <laughs> it was a good deal. It, no, there's no deal. I don't want to hear about the deals anymore. Because the deal I mean, implies some sense. sort of saving or money. <laughs> it's not a deal at all. I could have made a lot of money off of it. And why didn't you? Well, I just enjoyed my time. I was present. Had they left? Bro, OBS just glitched out. You think? Just got terrified. I still hear something upstairs, but I'm afraid to go look. Who was your favorite of the characters? You can have a favorite. Uh, probably. Carly. <laughs> Pronounce that again for me. Carly. Carly. Oh, yeah. Spell that for me, actually. It's like Charlie, but just Carly. Okay, yeah, Carly. <laughs> sure. Okay, mm. about Carly. What? That's your favorite character. He was nice. Talking. He was super normal. He worked in finance in Bridgeport. Mm. Really? Yeah, formally. And then he joined the characters this summer. And he's kind of just like, he's a vibe, but like very normal. Clean cut, liked IPAs. Big football guy. All right. Least Real. favorite. I don't care. His name's Crowley. I don't know why he's so normal. I just like Crowley. Tell, tell me the least favorite character. My least favorite? Yeah. Lee. Lee? It's like L-I. Yeah. Oh, Lee. Hell mm. yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Lee. Asian gentleman? No. No? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sure. Wasn't a gentleman Sorry. at all. <laughs> so, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asian? Obviously. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not, just yeah. not a gentleman. All right. Sorry. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bad. 
bad. Yeah, okay. Every yeah. time, bad. Every time? Every time they went into the kitchen, something bad would happen. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. and what was their deal in the Froze kitchen? their hands in the freezer. Oh. Clapped them over Carly's heads and they shattered. <laughs> Yikes. They cracked like, them over Carly's heads yeah, like a, <laughs> and they shattered. Like a freezer burn hand sort of trick? Hit them on both his heads and then the hands shattered. Both. both. Head. <laughs> <laughs> they cracked them over Carly's heads and then they shattered. Carly's <laughs> too. One of them's dead, but yeah, he had it on him. Why'd you He had it on him. Guy? He works in finance. Well, he I is guess. a normal guy, but he was born with a conjoined twin who he killed at 16. <laughs> That's uh, not normal. Yo. <laughs> Normal. And Lee right. smashed her frozen hands over Carly's heads. What are Lee's pronouns? Her. Okay, you said they earlier. I was just trying to figure it out. Yeah. I was trying to be respectful. Thank you. You also, I think he's a bad guy. Well, it doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> Stuff. Every yeah. time Lee got in the Whatever. kitchen. Whatever. Yeah, Lee got in the kitchen and did, uh, did smacked Carly's heads together. <laughs> no. Yikes. The heads didn't go together. Smacked their hands on the heads. Didn't move the heads. You could never move the dead head. It's kind of like really in the show. Yo. Shouts to the dead heads. Good time, dog. One of the best times of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I won't even pick what I want just to appease you. That's not what these brackets are about. Stand up for what you believe. Well, I do believe Role Model is a better song, but I'm just sad to see it go. So you just do it. It's kind of like, I know you got to put my dog down because he has HIV. Right. I don't want you to. I love the guy. Yeah, and I also feel like it's kind of your dog. You should be putting your dog down. Right. I don't know why you would ask me to do it. Well, you're a better shot than me. True. <laughs> and I guess, you know, I have always talked about, like, wanting to if there was. Yeah. It's kind of like the idea of, like, you know, when you go into a bar, sometimes you hope some guy says something disrespectful to, like, your girlfriend or one of your friends or whatever, so you get the chance to be the hero with the punch. Mm -hmm. You have the justified <laughs> punch situation. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting for a dog to have HIV. <laughs> Yo. It's brains out. <laughs> you know? I'm really trying to get into character here, guys. Yeah. This is not me. I'm just <laughs> a dog. But I do want to be in the new 8 Mile show. Yeah. I feel like this is the stuff they're looking for. <laughs> twisted. Dog AIDS is different. Oh, totally. And it's bad. Oh, it's <laughs> worse. It's way worse. Arguably, but <laughs> oh, there's a big debate going on about is. which one's worse. But Yo. This is the real Slim Shady. Oh, yeah, he's standing up. I see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I feel like a few of you guys might have caught on for some of these clips. Most of my performances in these videos are auditions for other things. Yeah. A yeah, <laughs> solid majority. I don't know if they've seen the tape, if anybody could give them a... Maybe put something together on Huddle for me. Okay. If anybody could put together like a Huddle highlight tape to send over to the 8 Mile sure. show, whoever's working on that. I put on for myself. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Lola, you know we could have done a lot more with that premise. The dog aids thing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. rotating cast of 15 characters, I mean, it's... That one went on. It's annoying and confusing. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, much like the Dan Marino thing. Like I said, you have so much dignity and influence. It's yeah. confusing. Mm. Like, I'm frustrated by it, but it has to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. I don't like watching myself do that character either. No. I feel like I will play Slim Shady in mm. the 8 Mile show, and then mm. years later, I will talk about how that role fucked me. Up. Fuck. Mm. Yeah, like I'll, I'll be like, oh, that was my beginning of my downfall. Because mm -hmm. then I, I kind of became the character. I yeah, the best rapper in the world or whatever. Ugh, I am not excited <laughs> for that. <laughs> Time for the second round. All right, round, round two. No clips. No more funny business. It's like when no matter. It's like when No Malice uh, and Pusha T stop making music together. We're done with the clips. Yep. Himmler's Gambino versus Joe Biden reading Gen Z news. Uh, Gen Z. Oh, Joe Biden so much. Well, be careful. Uh, what? Clip that. Check clip, that. Clip, clip and ship. Clip and ship. 345, six speed. I think Bryce Hall ought to fight Salt Poppy. <laughs> He's really got what it takes. I'm going to Zimbabwe with the boys. We just cooked up a parlay. I think Bobby ought to have... It's a little too much hate. When her character's basically the same as Nathan Fielder. <laughs> and she's Nathan Fielder, but but because she's a woman, they say, yeah, you can't, no, no, no thanks. <laughs> shot a shot with an NHL player. I, I don't know who this girl is, but she's been all over my timeline this week. Community note, this is undisclosed paid promotion for an OnlyFans. <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe! 
Buckleberries versus Blues Clues. Uh, Buckleberries. Yeah, and but shout yeah. out to Ant from NFR Podcast. Yep. Out there. Glad he made it on here. Yep. British Mr. Beast versus Brad's Grandpa. Gr- Brad's Grandpa. Brad's Grandpa. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame that we have to do it, but it is we just have to that Brad's grandpa. It might not make it past round three, but it has to get there. Slate his way through the Holocaust. It's just, it's just funnier and more cutting edge and more important. Or would it be more offensive if it didn't win? Hmm. Tough time to be making any sort of joke like that, but at the same time, yeah. we shine the brightest. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, smuggling Egyptian salamanders. salamanders. This is Michael Jordan drunk salamanders. I feel like the salamanders. Keep it going. Probably a more elaborate bit here. Yeah, it blows mm-hmm. it out of the water. I would yeah. even say. I think the second round has so far been pretty easy. Mm-hmm. A lot of clear cut winners. All right, Forfins porpoises. Mitchell. AKA Mitchell. <laughs> Versus Mitchell. Rolling Loud North Pole. Mitchell. Having sex with elves for eternity or Forfins Porpoises. I like Forfins Porpoises. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you, yeah, yeah, what, what do you mean? Bad. I know, I like it, I like it, but at the same time, what blowout's a blowout. Yeah, Mitchell. Mm-hmm. God, I don't know, who's going to win? Is it going to be the 49ers or is it going to be the Patriots? Yeah. Ooh, I just don't know. It yeah. depends how Brock Purdy plays against that Patriots defense, that ballot. I don't watch football. Read between the lines versus Word? Another blowout. Hmm. I I don't know. I might have to go word here because I think about that one more. I watch that one more. I, I search that one up. Read between the lines is kind of just in compilations, and it's like, okay, that was funny. You know. That word. God, it just keeps it just keeps happening. Word. Oh, word. I thought I was I. Cranial the Grape Street Grip versus oh. Whole Bowl. Cranial. Oh. Cranial. That's the first close one. Yeah. I kind of lean Whole Bowl. I think I go Cranial here. Okay. Grant. I will also take cranials. Yeah. Okay. Cranials. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> versus Adele is Jamaican me British. Jamaican me British. Uh, yeah, yes. Jamaican. Oh, That's the first, like, second round that I think there will be few disagreements in chat. I yeah. yeah. Like we're aligning and, like, uh, combining with the minds of our friends. Is there a live chat we play? I forgot. Until they're like right. There isn't. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Read between the lines is good all of a sudden. Yeah. 9-11 challenge versus slapstick thirst traps. Oh, I love <laughs> 9-11 that. challenge. 9-11 challenge seems to be, like, there's still a lot of momentum behind that one yeah and slapstick is it's just like good but it's nothing it's not groundbreaking yeah they did break ground on that memorial oh yeah recently mm. so, um it's more iconic i have to go 9-11 challenge yeah and i mean rest assured everybody 9-11 challenge 2 will be in bits bracket 4 i assume yeah it'll have to be there so <laughs> home run celebration versus <laughs> <laughs> bits bracket 4 confirmed that one has to be the bits bracket Bits bracket. I mean, I know there were a couple of bits in all three so far that were from bracket videos, but none of them were from the bits bracket videos. So we need, bro, trust me. Run celebration. Trust me. I forgot about it. (laughs) Oh man, I can't. Um. A home run is great, but Stroker, I don't know, man. Stroker hit different. Funny. I mean, Stroker is also like a juggernaut for me. Like, yeah. I, I'm sad to see it go, but home run celebration is just outrageous. Stroker's it's, also a whole video. Yeah, it is literally true. Contained true. Video. Stroker's not a bit, it's a character. Yeah. Mm, recipes fair point. Dignan is in love with Big Sean. Baby recipes. Big Sean. The baby recipes is kind of funny, but it's. Baby recipes recipe is like some. Like, that sounds like a Gordon Ramsay uh, Meat Canyon video. You know? Lingo. Like, I can imagine that. <laughs> I somehow feel like it's classier to me, though. Classier. I know, I know it's dark, but I'm saying like it's more like classic comedy timing and pacing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the other one's just like an outburst. Yeah. <laughs> and to me, I like baby recipes more because there's some structure to it. I, I love both of these, but I'm gonna say slightly baby recipes for me. Okay. Grant, break the tie. I'm gonna take Big Sean. All right. Okay. Okay. Be happy about that. Lemmy to Granky Real. versus Manifying. Options. Manifying. Manifying. <laughs> Lemmy to Granky is, is good time enough. In Lemmy to Granky yeah. to even compare to the you just can't. Of yeah. yeah. Objects. Yeah. Which is just a genuine funny argument. It yeah. Was, for yeah. Sure. Mr. Ritherspoon's music versus <laughs> Ritherspoon. Drake Shower. Ritherspoon for sure. Nice, but it's just it's really just the moment of you saying it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ritherspoon's is a that's a piece of art. That's a piece it of is. art. Yeah. <laughs> Oops found him versus is this a bad guy bad guy yeah. kind of tightly composed ones here yeah they're concise yeah oops found him is funnier to me though same it is real like one two punch yeah. the other ones i think i would stuff. if i saw it on instagram reels i would i would post oops found him on my story but is this a bad guy like that's something i would show to someone like when we're like locked in like at that point like we're really like tight like that this is the one that's getting played 
you know? Six punch combo, <laughs> but it doesn't knock him down. So it's still great. I go, oops, found him though. Why is audition versus gun to your head? You gotta get a tattoo today. I like gun to your head. Your audition's mm. good. And you deserve great. it. Is it great? It, your audition was great. Thank you. But gun I don't head. know here, man. I think the audition was some of Riley's best like uh, character switches. You know, like that, really. But Gunny, like, they, I, I don't know, just something about them making Brad uncomfortable, bro. Like they were saying, it's great. Head was funnier. And it's like, one I don't of know. The ones on here that we did plan before. Maybe Tatsu. Like, executed it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the audition definitely is more, again, like, impressive yes. or a masterful work of acting, mm. like, theater and such. And the like, and uh, Gun to Your Head, I guess, would Things be of that nature. funnier. I guess. Um, its intention was to laugh. Yeah, and there was nothing to laugh at in Ratty's mm. audition. No, Real. My audition. No, it's all, it's more embarrassing. For the for the people waiting in the lobby, yeah, I agree. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Casting the Murky Dark Waters a comedy versus rotating cast of 15 characters. Characters. Wow. Marrying a congresswoman to convince her to kill herself is brilliant, <laughs> but it's not as funny. The characters, Definitely just not. Like, you really have to carve that out of space. To make that yeah. funny, it took a little work. It, sh it has no right being funny. It opened up a world, too. <laughs> yeah. It's now like a thing yeah. that can be built on, yeah. and that's kind Real. of why it gets commented so much. And, and it's everything. a deal. Yeah. Well, it's not a deal. <laughs> it's a great deal. <laughs> it's not a deal, but I will say that it wins this matchup. Yeah, it does. <laughs> For the third Real. round, really quick. You know my my friend Robert, the one who loves anal. Yeah. You know, he always had like really long hair. Yeah. He just got it cut like, like, uh, what's that haircut? It's like right beneath the ears. Oh, it's, it's like, yeah, fuck ass Bob. <laughs> yeah, but what haircut? <laughs> what's that haircut? <laughs> Third round. <laughs> Buckleberries. Okay. Oh my God, that just hit me so late. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Third round, really quick. You know my friend Robert, the one who loves anal? Yeah. You know, he always had like really long hair. Yo. He just got it cut like, like, uh, what's that haircut? It's like right beneath the ears. Yo, it's, it's like, yeah, fuck ass Bob. Yeah, but what haircut? <laughs> what's that haircut called? <laughs> Yo, that hit me so late. I'm mad that I didn't instantly get that. Berries. Okay, impression versus completely made up story. <sighs> I'm gonna say Buckleberries because I feel like the Joe Biden one, like, they could just keep that one going and all of it would be great. So it like has to be disqualified low key. It's, a, it's still a running bit. All of these other ones, like they didn't reference any of the other ones really compared to Joe Biden. They did one twice, bro. They did Joe Biden twice. They might do it again right now. So like, you know, I, I, mm, I gotta go Buckleberries, bro. Impression though, but it's like more than that. Yeah. It's like putting impression in a context it doesn't belong in. And I feel like pretty clever headline reading and stuff. Yeah. Like it reminds me of like uh, in Parks and Recreation when Amy Poehler would get her own thing where she would just keep saying lines over and over again. They keep all of them right in a row. Mm. Just like a cut together thing. I like doing that sort of thing. Buckleberries is amazing visually. I don't know though. I feel like I just have to go with my gut is Joe Biden. I agree. So you're going with Joe Biden as yeah. well? It's so close that Fair. it almost feels wrong. Yeah. I just just, I do love the idea of like reading Twitter through Joe's voice. It's yeah. Like, just out of curiosity, Grant, what would you have picked? I would have picked Joe Biden. Okay. Okay. So it's Grandpa Fair. and smuggling Egyptian. Oh, salad. this one is close. I really don't know here, actually. I don't. I don't know. I can't choose, bro. Like salamanders a little more. Ringing out the babies for plutonium and then smoking it. <laughs> I think we've done it before. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong. I love that story. I just feel like it's like OJ Simpson and like smuggling Egyptian salamanders is like he ran for 1,500 yards in one season and Brad's yeah. grandpa is like him getting away with murder. Yeah. It yeah. feels like that's just more noteworthy than the stats. And smuggling yeah. Egyptian salamanders is is fantastic. There's no doubt about it. But I don't think many comedians could get away with what we were able to pull off with. <laughs> Real. Yeah. Which That's I fair. Really bad saying. For feel bad for Brad. Grant, break the Real. tie. I'm taking Brad's credit. <laughs> Here we go. He's Here we go. So yeah. Mitch L slash Forfins Porpoises versus. Ah. Uh, okay, it's getting harder. That's what she said. Um, maybe. Me word. I gotta go word. 
Word. <laughs> I'm gonna break some hearts here right away. I'm going word. Here's yeah. what, these are both like multifaceted bits with like a lot of different bits within them. Mm -hmm. And I love the Mitch L story, but word starts with like an acid story at an arcade bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of funny descriptors, and then turns into your mom <laughs> popping out of the middle hole of a ski ball thing, <laughs> saying you're a bad son, and then it turns into just us saying funny words like a words together and laughing. Yeah. It's kind of like they're similar. Yeah, they are. Real. All of the pieces are more consistent in word for me. Yeah. Mm. Word makes me laugh harder. I know that Mitch Real. and Forfins Porpoises was a favorite going in for a lot of people. Everyone's going to be eliminated except one. So. See what chat's saying. One can win. Yeah. I'm going word too. Wiley. Yo. <laughs> Yo, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. I'm crying, bro. Versus Adele is Jamaican me British. Cranial. Jamaican me British. Cranial. Some of the best work <laughs> ever done. Yeah, I'll go. Cranial? But shout out to Cranial. Okay, what's chat saying here? Oh, they didn't even get here yet. Oh, man. 9-11 challenge. They're delayed. Home run celebration. A home run celebration. Guys, no. <laughs> what? 9-11 challenge is going to happen. Yo, I love that mods are like, come on, bro. Ryle, what? <laughs> on this trip. I'm already feeling it going on for a long time, but home run celebration is just a ridiculous moment. Yeah, it's kind of it like is. a tiny phone or something. Yeah. Like, it's like one that I don't think many people were thinking about coming into, yeah. and I definitely didn't even remember. But God, that made me laugh. I think Real. like 9-11 Challenge is like a, a saga. Yeah, it is. Shot because it's I, okay, so if I'm a, I gotta be fair, same rules as the Joe Biden one. It just, it can't continue. It can't because it's going to continue, you know? <laughs> it was building, it's not building anymore. But um, yeah, I gotta go home run celebration. I like it. Now we're doing some subversive pay. I feel yeah. like now some people are gonna be pissed. Big Man is in love with Big Sean versus Manifying. Manifying. Objects. Manifying objects is like, there's a back and forth there. In love with Big Sean is like a one sided, ridiculous story. You know, here I go with Big Man is in love with Big Sean. It is that outburst thing, but it's such a different tone of one. And mm. manifying objects like really does turn into like a stupid argument. Yeah. So that's where I go with it. I'll keep it tied. Grant, what do you think? Manifying objects. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mr. Ritherspoon's music versus Ritherspoon's. Found him. Wow. Come on, dude. It's a tough one here. It this is, is a short film, bro. Forget a bit. They cooked this. You know, it's Ritherspoon's, bro. Cinematic. Short versus writer's room. I like mm -hmm. Ritherspoon's though, just like the place it puts me a little more. Oops, found him is just like hilarious and it's a quick. Ha. Ritherspoon. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a good bit. It's like a VR headset versus a TikTok. Yeah. Mm. Your head, you got to get a tattoo today versus rotating cast of 15 characters. It's got to be the characters. It's got to be. Yeah, the rotating characters. cast. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> the tattoo one, it's great. It's great. But it is. It doesn't stand a chance against the 15 characters. Mm -hmm. It's also, by the way. It I doesn't stand a chance against one of the, It doesn't stand a chance against Lee, bro. To be honest. Point out, it's a rotating cast of 15 plus characters. <laughs> yeah. So it's not. Mm. It's not We're 15. unsure. Or, yeah, Real. not sure. A lot of people have been saying 12. I don't know where they got that number. Hey. Weird. Under our Elite Eight. Here we go. Joe Biden versus Brad's grandpa. <laughs> I'm back on Brad's grandpa's side. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Joe Biden can't continue. You have to. Taking down fascism one demon drop at a time. Yep, it's got to be Brad's grandpa. I have a lot of, I mean, I have wonderful things to say about the Joe Biden one. I love that premise. I feel like it's one we can return to at any moment. Sure. That other one is never that, again. Never to be touched never again. Never again. Yeah. Yeah. Real. It's almost like our J.K. Rowling bit. Yeah. Again. Mm. That lives in it and it evokes a feeling in people. Yep. Some of them anger, yep. some of them frustration, some of them pure joy. Pure yep. joy. Bless. <laughs> but it moved people. Yeah. Word versus Adele is Jamaican me British. I lean Adele. Just, I think it's m funnier. That's why. Word is like we stumble into it. It's like a great story, kind of. <laughs> I love big blue people. <laughs> like the I'm gonna go words. word. Smurf hulks, we say like. Salvador Dali bathroom. Yeah. They, on the floor, the, the, just word. Just to be safe. <laughs> Come on. Just to be safe. I am fully in the word. Yeah. Uh, like, I think it's like one of those things where Adele is Jamaican British is undoubtedly more iconic because it's something yeah. like, quote, like that's another one. It's people's yeah. usernames. Like yep. Adele is Jamaican me British. <laughs> that's like something that has been created. Imagine they're in the chat right now. Yeah. 
until it was said here. And word is not that, but I just think the better bit. I think when I watch it, I think it's funnier. I think. Can you do polls in YouTube chat? I don't know. Good levels to it. Grant, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, they're going kind of fast. And I think you speak for the chat in a lot of ways. You're usually pretty aligned with the chat, and I think they are going to be pissed about this decision. Yeah. But I just have to be true to myself. Grant, please. I think word is funnier. Yeah. <laughs> Home run celebration yeah, versus manifying objects. Home run celebration. Manifying. Yeah. Manifying got it. to God that you don't die today. <laughs> right back into a big smile is just, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's literally like, it's like people should aspire to be that funny. That's what <laughs> They can only dream Real. to come up with something so goddamn funny. <laughs> That's really all I'll say. Mr. Richard's music versus rotating cast of 15 mm, I... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to go Ritherspoon here. I can't lie. Uh, yeah, I'm going Ritherspoon, bro. I think it's the characters. <laughs> as new as it is, I feel like it's. I feel like it's really good. I love Ritherspoons, but I think it has another life to live. I think we can mm. a real thing one day. Oh, I could see the rotating cast of 15 <laughs> characters getting their own show. <laughs> <laughs> Our show where it's all about the 15 plus characters Yo. you live in with them. And you're just like, ah, oh, jeez. Like, <laughs> I am going to disagree with you here. I'm going to go with Mr. Ritherspoon's music because I think. Come on, Grant. Don't let me down, bro. It has more color and more like shape. Like to me, I really see a classroom. Mm -hmm. I see Tommy Flash in a red varsity jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. football. I see Mr. Ritherspoon in a leather jacket playing the piano <laughs> and singing yep. that weird ass song. And in rotating. A low lit stage. Characters, it's really like I'm kind of filling in gaps like there are yeah. definitely parts that i imagine but a lot of it is shapeless it yeah. is a v it's vague by nature yeah. you're just kind of like some are fucked up you know <laughs> it's line. i love it so much but i'm gonna go with mr ritherspoon's music and grant gets to decide i'm gonna take mr ritherspoon's music there we go w grant that the cast of characters has more story to tell no, okay. Mm. I agree. And we already learned about two of the characters today. Real. Lee and Carly. <laughs> Lee and Carly, I guess. Yep. Lee's got no hands now. I didn't have fun learning about that one. It's all right. We're at our final <laughs> folks. Okay. I forgot to say this after the first round, but if there's a bit that you love from our channel that was not in Bits Bracket 3, please comment it for Bits Bracket 4. It's already in the works, mm -hmm. and we really? may be filming it with a very special guest. Ooh. Are the four top bits of Bits Bracket 3. 4 3. Two, one, winner. We've got Brad's grandpa slayed his way through the Holocaust versus Word. I think Word finally takes down Brad's grandpa here. It's just funnier. I'm glad that there's courage around Brad's grandpa. Uh... And this goes to what I was saying earlier. Like, is it more offensive if it doesn't win? I don't know. So... I'm gonna go with Word here, bro. Like, as great as this one is... If we're just talking like pure comedy, word like word would get more laughs. If we did a poll, people that have never watched Hive Mind but are like big comedy fans played both clips, word would get way more laughs. Not even because of how like you know offensive this this could come off or like how edgy it is. Like it's just funnier, low key. We got it, bro. But in terms of laughing out loud, mm -hmm. it almost is hard to watch. It is, yeah. 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 It's, it's tough to watch, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. they shouldn't have. Oh, they yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, it's like skin of a rink. Yeah. Mm. There's part of me that is not proud. Like, I am proud of it, but there's part of me that is scared for more people to see it. Yeah, mm. for sure. And word, I'm like, hey, send that out. You know, well. ship that off to your aunt, see yeah. what she thinks of it. <laughs> it's you know what I mean? Toss that to your old cousin. Yeah. You know, the guy, he's 40 and he plays bass. Send it in. <laughs> To everybody you work with and then screenshot the responses and send them to us i am not worried about what people might say about that one not Real. i love that bit <laughs> a lot i do too all right and right side a home run celebration versus rather spoons music where are you leaning i got the devil and the angel kind of yapping at me mm -hmm. the devil is saying home run celebration was the hardest you've laughed in years mm. <laughs> we needed that <laughs> you needed to cry yeah and yeah yeah. to that bit but i feel like i just like <laughs> cherry picked like something like if part of me thinks i'd cherry picked something funny about it yeah. and fixated on that. <laughs> the angel is Real. saying like, the fans want to see Mr. Ritherspoon's music go to the finals. And they do. So I love it in a different I way. I know they it's do. It's a collaborative effort. But it just doesn't make me laugh as hard. <laughs> and that's the problem. As a bit, Home Run Celebration is funnier. 
I have to go with home run celebration. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Everybody. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, God. Here we go. I don't think we picked either of the favorites to get here. That's okay. They get to vote now. Yeah, you guys get to vote in the chat. They're oh, wow. They actually won a home run. Right now. Word versus home run celebration. Surprising. For the best hive mind bit in bits bracket three. If your favorite did not make it to the finals, Word. please voice it down Word. in the comments. Honestly, it's us versus us. So, like, you know, if you're like, oh, this bit was better, I'll be like, oh, no, that was, oh, that one's still me. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be offended. No. You know what I mean? Real. Yeah, drop it down there. You're yeah, saying I'm funny. Yeah, Thank you're you. saying that we're funny, but we're funnier another time than yeah. this time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> about this channel that you love is not us making decisions about ourselves. It might be. I don't know. Some, oh, people, for some people. Everybody likes it for a Fair. reason. Some people watch just because you're handsome. Yup. I'm going to have to that out. <laughs> <laughs> My big fucking honkies. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Where are you Yo. here? <laughs> I'm leaning home run salvation. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute whiplash comedy. <laughs> that when me and Kate were putting this video together, that was also the hardest that I've laughed. Mm. Time. Like, I was in that room crying, laughing. Really? So I completely forgot about yeah. it. It is that funny. Yeah, it is that funny. It's like Fair. I have to convince myself that it's that funny, because it, but like, you saw me, he got cried. <laughs> I cried to a clip from our own show. Yeah. That's crazy. It's kind of it is. Oh, there's still ways to be made for word, though, for Oh, me. for sure. There are so many good... Th you know what? No. Here's what I'm going to do. We've picked the bits that have like a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. We've done all yeah. of that in the other bits bracket. The hardest that I laughed is home run celebration, and that is what I'm picking. Yes. A consensus. Fair. Grant? I am agreeing. Yes. Okay. Fair. Right. Fair. Right. Fair. We're all in agreement. A home run celebration Fair. is the number one bit in bits bracket three. Love it. I really hope okay. that some of you out there Agreed. get it yeah. and aren't mad at us. But all right. Wow. There we go. We have a winner. Home run celebration Real. wins. Hive Mind Bits Bracket 3. Please drop some other bits down in the comments that you want to see. W video, bro. Four. Thank you. For if you guys are this far in the video, uh, drop a uh, hospital emoji in the comments because I feel like that emoji does not get enough love. No one ever says they're going to the hospital emoji. They just type out hospital. Um, you know. year of Hive Mind videos. See you on tour next year. March and April. Linked in description. Tickets are available now. Love to see, see it. Us. Also, Hive Mind Limited. Please follow us there if you like our TikToks or our Instagram reels. We're uploading them to YouTube along with compilations. Hive Mind Limited. I was about to say, uh, I literally considered just scrolling on their Instagram and reacting to a bunch of their like short form. But since they have the limited channel now, I might just check that out. Thank you again for watching Hive Mind in 2020. If y'all would watch that, because, like, I don't know. It is different. You were very grateful. Like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Graydon, go ahead and leave. But I've, like, intentionally not watched the short form for a good, like, two, three months. Literally. Wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. We all must go to bed in the ones we make. <laughs> all right, this is been mm. I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. W video, bro. It's like I just sneeze, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. It's one of those sneezes that gives you like a headache and like a specific mm. spot. You know what I mean? Like you popped a blood vessel? Yeah, lucky. Whack. Those be the worst ones, man. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, bro. Hey, man. W video. I know y'all have been waiting on this one, bro. Not gonna lie. But I've had the worst weather, literally couldn't even stream yesterday. Well, I did, but like not for long, because, you know. Anyways, but that's besides the point, bro. W video, this is literally almost three hours. Uh, but yeah, hospital emoji in the comments if you made it this far. Yeah.